amongst destiny's throes Which is the right path that I value more My tinker of tools or my magical form In the danger, don't know what comes next Weaving my way with each step On the path we wander through shadow and light Marching through valleys deep and wide Carving our fate and finding our home In this world unknown Shrekker of wolf folk, cursed with the plight To embrace the darkness or chase the moonlight Loyalty binds me to all I hold dear Eager to help, I'll embrace every fear In the danger, don't know what comes next Weaving my way with each step On the path we wander through shadow and light Marching through valleys deep and wide Carving our fates and finding the home In this world unknown Bound to ceramic, a ghost of what was I yearn for the past to break free from my curse Brave in the face of all my hidden strife Forward I journey to seek a new life In the danger, don't know what comes next Weaving my way with each step On the path we wander through shadow and light Marching through valleys deep and wide Carving our fates and finding our by desire to be something more only in combat these bonds we renew together we journey steadfast and true in the danger don't know what comes next weaving my way with each step on the path we wander through shadow and light marching through valleys deep and wide carving our fates and Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Redux of the third episode of the Gloamcrest Boardwalk and Fair Adventures. Ooh, let me... This music is too loud for me. Give me one second. It's throwing my brain off. Oof, I feel like it's pretty easy to throw me off my game today, but... Alright, so we're playing the third game of Gloamcrest um, Boardwalk and Fair. Like bringing that back up we do have a fifth member playing today's game because it was relevant to the character's interest and it's just like we couldn't do it without we couldn't do it without him like, we, were, we were trying to do it without him but then we realized it was a bad idea if we did so we got silky playing today's game with us again um i'd like to talk about yesterday's game real fast um it was amazing absolutely loved it literally me and Nika spending the whole night talking about the scenes and we kept thinking that we got them all and I literally laughed out loud remembering some stuff today about it that I totally forgot like the whole chicken tendies scene totally forgot about it until like today it was hilarious and like I Love everybody to give like steps some props for just being there all day in character, just like putting his head in to any scene that he felt like he would like wanted to. I thought it was amazing. I loved it. 
Right? You, if you don't remember the chicken tendies scene, you're in the same boat I am. It's like, I forgot about it. Until, like, it was like, oh yeah. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for making this weekend amazing. We are leaving the goal bar up. It's just like, we'll probably leave it up till we complete it, or at least leave it up for this week. Um, you guys, I thank you so much. We're um, putting together the notes from the world building talk we did last night. That that was a good talk, everybody. I really like what that world's going to be. Like, we wanted to use six because what Vala and Osiria, I know what Vala and Shai both like put into that made it feel really chill and like we wanted you guys to make a chi like help us make a chill side of the world instead of like one of our like more aggressive sides and you guys fucking killed it so thank you um there are cards out there that we have a new card today it's just a bunch of question marks <laughs> hand wave and thank you guys so much for your support and we'll introduce everybody All right, so we've got Cowboy playing Cass. Howdy. We got Van X playing Clem. Like clockwork? It's clockwork. Is it not working? There Is it not working? There. Okay, hello. <laughs> uh, Forge got the holiday card. Yeah, Forge got the holiday card. And we got, and like speaking of, we got Forge played by Darkborn. Oots, 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 butter, butter, butter. I am formed, everyone! Shave my weasel! Um, <laughs> we've got Pollux and Caster played by local cele celebrity and resident Pokemon expert Vala. Hello, hello! Did you guys see Vala's commercial <laughs> for the for the, for the falafel, falafel Popper Jr.? The fact that you nailed it and didn't say it dumb. <laughs> Like killed me. I tried to. I was stunned. Like what well, that I got it right. Spot on. Just immediately, you just just that like... out of your mouth. Because I, I still cannot <laughs> say those words. <laughs> it's like it's like one of the grossest ad reads I've ever put together. Turns out the cheese is gritty and people like it. So I'll be right back. Dinner is ready. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we've got Soki in a barrel, played by Not Forgiven. <laughs> Adventure. It's just like Soki's so bad at gambling. <laughs> or he's the best at gambling. There is no in between. There, and that's just like, there is no in between. Oh. Soki, you yeah. lost everything. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that seems that seems fine. Oh, the world builder card. I was thinking that the world builder cards work like the other world builder cards, where you have to roll the 20 sider and you put the holiday there. Or at least the basis of the holiday there. But, like, also, it could have spread out. I added two more of those cards. Uh, honestly, I didn't realize that anybody was actually going to be, like, hunting for them. I thought it was just, like, a fun little thing. So there are two more of the world builder holiday cards out there. Ooh. Oh, so I so I have to redeem it and then roll roll a d20 to see where it is. Yeah. If you want to okay. do that right now, right on stream, we can get that die across the screen. That could be our first roll of the day. I mean, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Hold on, let me first redeem card. I don't know what the holiday is yet. I'll I'll figure it out. But uh... it, holidays. I was I was trying to make it holiday festival celebration. So it doesn't necessarily. It doesn't have to have any religious inclinations. Oh no no no! I was, it was going to, it was definitely going to be like a festival, like you know, like a, like a summer festival, like that kind of thing. Hope you get a side that would, has summers. Or do, do you know what I mean? Like it, it's like yeah. It's, it's oh no, basically. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Like I, I'm basically it off my experience from Japan. So uh, let's see here. Let me roll a twenty. I got a nine. We know where nine is, right? Nine's nine Sonnery. Nope. No, virtuoso. nine is Virtuoso. All right. <laughs> That'll be funny. We'll explain what that side's like to you um, a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of the sides we've got coming up, so. All right. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, everybody. Is everybody here? I know Vala had to get up for a second. Nope. 
We lost him. What were, uh, Vala, Vala had food. Oh, yeah, I was just asking up. It's like, all right, so while we're waiting on Vala, the other four of you, what's... You guys are exhausted. Like, the telethon was yesterday. Or if not the telethon was yesterday, it was some... I actually like the idea that it was a telethon yesterday. You're all exhausted. Yeah. You hit your bed, and it has never felt more comfortable. Like, what? what is you guys' sleeping situations? Like, you all have your own apartment, so, like, unless you want to share with other people. Um, so, let's let's just say that uh, Forge is face down, uh, passed out, while Blue is making breakfast. I, I, I want this right in the, like, the stuck, like, your head just hit the pillow. Unless Blue is making breakfast... And like Forge stayed up so late, and Bre Blue is making breakfast oh, no, before exactly he goes it. up to work. Okay, yeah, excellent. That's exactly. Absolutely. It, yeah. All right. All right. I right. I can feel that one. All right. Soki uh, curls up into a little ball and hugs himself with his tail when he goes to sleep. I always pictured Soki in a hammock. By the way, in case you were wondering. I don't listen. know why. <laughs> so we can make that work. Oh, you don't. You don't. Ha you don't need it. Just it like... gives you the the illusion that you're flying. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like as long as you never hit the ground. What what's Clem's sleeping situation? Oh, I don't know. I think he just has like a regular bed. It's probably like big though, so he can just kind of like curl up and lay down like half a room. And then he also has like Barnaby, you know, his blue bee plush, and he always sleeps with it every night. So. I was just thinking about Barnaby the other day. Oh! This is like, that's still hilarious to me. Y yeah, yeah, he loves Barnaby. That's his, that's, that's like, that's his little dude. Then he, then he's got like Sooty, probably like a place for Sooty to sleep too. So. Just a he's spoon also got, like, watching some... you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he puts a spoon wherever the spoon wants to go. So if he wants to watch Clementine sleep, he's okay with that. <laughs> he probably made like a little bed for him too, though. Like, kind of like. Uh, adorable. Bed. <laughs> yeah, he's got like a little spot for him somewhere wherever he wants to be. <laughs> I'm really picturing Clem treating this spoon. Do you guys remember the Nick Nickelodeon stick stickly? Is that just me? Yes. Yes, I remember. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. I it was a really like... dumb Nickelodeon thing where they used to like have they had a little face on this stick and they used to like dip him in things and just like and he would guess what he was being dipped in. But uh, it was a fucking just it was just a popsicle stick. It was, yeah. Oh, that sounds familiar, but like I would have been like young. So if, if, so dumb. If, if you the best, the closest thing to it, I would say, uh, would be if you remember the spork from a uh, Toy Story, <laughs> so, similar oh, to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same oh. energy. Same energy. Yeah, same energy. Same energy. Same energy. Yeah, it's the same energy. It's spork. That's the thing though, like, cause Clementine normally talks to things, so like with this one, she talks back. So he's just like, oh, this is new. <laughs> Cause he knows the other ones aren't like actually, but like he even talks to Barnaby sometimes. So this is how this is what he does for comfort. But yeah, he's got all that set up, and he's probably like like he likes to snuggle with Sooty and have Barnaby with him. And then also like I'm thinking like um, he probably like probably like somewhere in the room he also has a place for um Bonifred to like be, but uh like separately though because I'm sure they don't want to like cuddle their snake and they have their jar. So. I forgot Clem's room's just full of things. <laughs> right, you have a menagerie. <laughs> that's just stuff that he has, like, that's just his personal, like, like, just his, his buddies. <laughs> like, Every once in a while, Clem wakes up, Willoughby's curled up in bed, too. Like, yeah, all oh, right. Willoughby, Willoughby can sleep over for Willoughby sure. Comes <laughs> <laughs> Willoughby coming over his, with his, like, Biza sleeping bag. Yeah. No, no, his long bee sleeping bag. It just looks yes. like long bee. The long bee, yes. Yes. Got the, the long bee. <laughs> All right, honestly, like, okay, good. Yeah. No, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, no, just, I just think that was good. I just think that was really fun. Like, and honestly, yeah, like, Clementine would just love to have, like, sleepovers and set up things with, like, Willoughby. That'd be fun. So. Hey, Cass, how's, how's sleeping looking like for you? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, this is the second time I've asked you, like everybody, what you're wearing when you go to sleep and stuff. <laughs> I have, I haven't even. Yeah, I didn't even think about what what Forge is wearing. It's just like, just I, I, I can imagine him just being so exhausted he just plop, <laughs> like it just mm-hmm. sploot on the just literally sploot on the bed. <laughs> Cass essentially wears long johns, but it's, but it doesn't have a top to it. Long Jimothys. So yes, long. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he doesn't like being too hot when he sleeps, so he's just he's cut off like the top end of it. Should have we considered that face? Hmm. <laughs> that one fell short. That one's on me, guys. Almost. <laughs> Cass and fucking Long John's is really funny. <laughs> it's like if it, if it has four arms, it's a Jimothy though. It's a Jimothy. <laughs> Renick and Cass both wear the same brand, Long Jimothys. Oh. <laughs> like could... looking at Renick and Cass, the fact that their bodies aren't the exact same, but probably close enough that the only two in the crew that can like wear it. No wait, <laughs> Valentina just wears smaller versions of. Cass and Renix clothes. Cute. The, the short Jimothys. <laughs> the baby yeah. Jimothy. J- baby Jimothys. Sure. It's the junior section, yeah, of course. It's mm-hmm. little Jimmy's. <laughs> little Jimmys. Little Jimmys. The gyms. Yeah. Straight from straight from little bone little mill. Gyms. Little Jimmy. Long gyms. <laughs> Long gyms. Long gyms. <laughs> Jimmy Jams. This is so dumb. <laughs> and we know how Pollux and Cash are asleep in a giant bed with all of their friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Cass, Cass, is, Cass, Cass is in Cass bed with Cass them. There you go. Just one large bed. Yeah, but if you want an outfit, it's definitely like those really comfy looking pajamas that got the stars on them. One of them's probably got a nightcap, the other's got a face mask. Adorable. So... While you guys are sleeping, like, and you're sleeping so passed out, you're exhausted. You all had, like, an amazing day. Like, like Cass, you had a poker tournament. Clem, you had to do a pillow dungeon and win a fucking cook and won a cooking contest. Mm-hmm. Like, Pollux and Caster had the table read for their, like, the movie based on their book. And then also had to put on a slapstick show. And then also was on the call lines. Soki lost everything and had to leave the apartment. I mean, have had to leave the building in a barrel. <laughs> I like to think that's that he didn't have to, but he chose to. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what I was about to say. It's just like everybody bring <laughs> him clothes and he just wouldn't put them on. Yeah. <laughs> I got a barrel. Now. It'll he be fine. He, yeah. He said he was comfy in the barrel. And then it's just like in the middle. <laughs> Like, and as you're all sleeping, like leaning, like, you feel like, you know that feeling when you got, like, a bug next to your head when you're sleeping? Like a, like a mosquito in the room, or a fly in the room? Mm. You guys just all suddenly hear, Get up, idiots, we're going to a party! And then, immediately, a black bag goes over top of all of your head, and you just start getting beat with clubs! Oh! Adventure! At this hour! And it's just like you hear Rupert's voice for the first time in days. Rupert was not here yesterday. Like, although his hands were in everything, messing up everybody's talent show. Not the fast travel again. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. Uh, uh, oh. Upbeat, upbeat music plays in the spotlight of colorful goose themed game show set. Uh, no, not the goose. Welcome to the wackiest game show in Goosedale, Hawk Before Midnight. Prepare for the wild ride of laughs and chaos as the camera pans to cur- the quickly to the player stations as the audience claps. Announcer, and here's your host, the master of mischief, Rupert. Oh. Thank you. Welcome to Honk Before Midnight, where our contestants scavenge for prizes under the quirky roofs of Goosedale. It's all about fun and feathers here, folks. 
Rupert, what the hell did you just drag me into again? Hi, Rupert. Hey, he's a... It's called I got... asking permission. Hey, you guys are belted tightly to your seats. Uh -huh. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, all right. What are the rules, Rupert? Yeah, what's going on? Why are you playing along with this? I don't know. It... Just... He promised Why fun. I like this. I like fun. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Look, I I'm guess. okay with fun, but, you know, consent! Listen, Rupert and I go way back. He wouldn't yeah. pull us in under the circumstances he did, unless he had a good reason. Right, Rupert? Adventure! Adventure, see? Adventure. I like this game. Adventure. As uh. all the folks at home should be aware, and like everybody in the Silver Thimbles, your TVs turn on. Every single person. Your television comes on, and it's as loud as Inuyasha's opening music. Oh my god! That, oh, <laughs> man. oh my Damn. god! You had to trigger me that way. Oh, it's like closing music. Closing music. My bad. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, the memories. Oh. <laughs> we were just like... Laughs and oh, ooh, what I, lost my place. Lost my place. Sorry, guys. I have so many scripts. Tonight, our fabulous flocks will face off in a frenzy of fun, f racing against the clock to collect our specifically horror themed items and turn them into a. I mean, and search all over our bizarrely beautiful suburb. They'll need wit, guile, and a bit of luck to out honk the competition. So without further further ado, let's get into the action and introduce our contestants. First off, sitting all the way on the Ooh, where'd that go? Sitting all the way on our left, we have Pollux local celebrity Pollux and Caster. Fox and Castor has written a well-received science fiction book called The Red Planet Plaid, and it is about to be turned into a full-length motion picture. Any words for the audience, Pollux and Castor? I'm using the wrong um, voice. The hello, I suppose. Hello, I suppose. Wise words from two wise cats. And of course, we have Inventor of the blue honey bars and amazing culinary artist Clem, also known as Clem VP. Clem VP, any words for the audience today in your tactic? And so, sorry, any tactics for defeating and for winning the game tonight? Uh, hello, and also, uh, uh, uh I'll, I'll, I don't know, no tactics. I'll just uh, go with the flow. Clem will defeat you by going with the flow. That's how good he is. He doesn't have to try. <laughs> um. Now, guess <laughs> what amazing long Jimothys you have there. Mm. Clearly, the most stylish sleeper amongst us. Now, I've heard you're from a rough and tumble neighborhood. How do you yeah. intend to use that to win the game? Well, firstly, uh, it is going to be by finding the exit and leaving this place. <laughs> Ridiculous. Such a kid. Where, where do y'all even, where, where did you even find a quad arm locking chair at? There, like, you guys know that there are so many more belts on this chair. And she's like, don't worry, we're ready to just, like, like these chairs can even hold massive spiders. Don't worry, Forge. We take everything into account. We are polite. And speaking of, we have Forge. It's like looking groggy there, Forge. Were you up a little late? The was on the phones. Yes. Excellent. And she's like, and do you think that'll be a detriment to your gameplay today? Oh no, I'm I'm used to working all-nighters? Of course he is. And Sogi! Once so again... This what was that point? Sorry. 
No, it was it was it was Ford whispering over the ca the, the cast. How is this? How is this claw proof? Very surprised. Then Soki always down for ventures. Soki's is the only chair that where he is not buckled in. <sighs> I was gonna say he's got his emergency coffee in hand and he's just taking a sip. As, as we know, like Soki is always just down for adventure. Do you have any advice for the other four contestants in today's game? Uh, you know, it's not about winning. Uh, you just do what you can and have fun while you're here, and and that'll be enough, probably. Also, go fast because I'm really fast. Oh, okay. Okay, everybody. We have a list of we have a, a list of items you are looking for today and throughout the terrifying suburbs that is Goosedale. First and foremost, and please write these down, you are looking for a Garden Sentinel. Secondly, you are looking for a pink Yard Demon of... Uh, yard Guardian of Doom. Third, a Letter of the Damned. Fourth, a Banquet Cage. Fifth, a Song of the Wind. Sixth, an elixir of life. Seventh, a sky feeder. Eighth, a bot botanical prisoner. Ninth, a helm of the wheeled knight. Ten, a rain dancer. Eleven, the um, the feast of the of a hound. Twelve. An oracle scroll, and thirteenth, an alibi. Is someone else writing these down? Because I'm not gonna be. Able I wrote them down. I'm, said, oh, thank yeah, I'm you. sure I tried. It was so I tried. fast. It was so fast. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, okay. You did you get them? Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, I spelled some of these correct. I believe in you. I think there was one right before the uh, pink yard guardian of doom. I also need to yeah, get the There was. Well. I don't know why it didn't put. Oh, it it's did. Right. It's above. It's right there above. Oh, there it is. Garden Central. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> is everyone ready to play? Yeah. yeah. No, but I have no other choice. Uh, sure. Gonna, we could have been asleep right now. With me, crowd. Honk. Three, four, midnight, and everybody cheers in the crowd. Um, you guys also feel like eyes on you. Basically, the entire Echo Sahedron's watching you guys right now. Oh. And slowly, oh, do I have it? I have to have it, right? I don't have it. I thought I did. Give me one second, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, uh, multiple people come out and begin affixing little things to you. Um, a little mouse comes out in front of you guys and she's like, any food allergies? Is anybody mm -hmm. weak to gluten? I'm sorry for bread. She's like, how do you feel about bread? It's Bread's fine. It's Love fluffy. Bread. Bread's tasty. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, good on bread. And, like, as they ask you whether or not you like bread, they affix a hat upon your head. <laughs> How does that work with Cass? It's a hat on a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear your Did you wear your cowboy hat to bed? I thought you were just wearing long jimothys. Oh, well, no. Well, there you go. <laughs> you now have, now have hat. Okay. I have two. I wonder if I'm gonna get good reception with this hat. 
the you guys all start to feel it. It's just like you start like the whole room starts to shake and all of a sudden you appear on the streets of a suburban street. Children around you. Forge and Clem, these streets look familiar. You have been here before. Oh. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh yes. my god! Look at us! Oh my god! 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 You said a hug oh. before midnight. There's an RPG system that's that bad, and it's all about Oh my god. Oh my god. god. You don't have any of your uh, items, your abilities. I want to see the sheet. How you play the game is right there on the on your character sheets. Okay, give me just a moment. Hell yeah. I love this. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love this. Let me see. I, I, oh my god. It's very hard for me to. Oh, there it is. Okay, I had to put it up for you. There, there we go, better. I don't see one for me. Oh shit, I did I Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. I understand okay. why this is relevant to my interests now. Oh my god, that's it all dark. makes sense. <laughs> okay, so the way that Hog Before Midnight works is you guys do not have HP. The only thing there is is a danger level. If the danger level hits six, we make a roll. And if you are the one that failed it, you get removed from, you get chased out of town. Oh. So the goal is get everything on your scavenger hunt list or as many of those items as you can before the sunset and before midnight tonight. Okay. 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 Um, you roll six ciders equal to the number of like in your stats. Clem and Soki, you two are the class, you are both the class silly goose. Hell yeah. Nice. So all you have is chaos. That's all I need, <laughs> baby. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Ya. It's like in the distance, you just hear let the games begin. Honk. <laughs> Honk. People, you cannot speak it, like you oh. cannot speak to these people. You can talk to each other, like, but it is honking. Oh my god! Can I, can I talk to the spoon? The spoon, <laughs> the spoon still an, like the spoon answers, but only in honks as well. Nice, nice, nice. I just realized when Sookie talks, it's just grabbing yeah. back and forth. Oh, okay. It's perfect. All right, everybody. So as you arrive in town, this little girl goes riding back past on her bike. Oh, hi, geese. Honkis. <laughs> I'm probably the scariest looking fucking geese here. <laughs> Maybe cash oh, too, yeah. too, because I got four wings. Cass has a gun, by the way. <laughs> Your abilities are one-time use only, by the way. Like, okay. your perks can be used as many times as you want. Your ability is once. Mm. If Clem uses their ability, they get to, like, a, get, they get a new one. I'll randomly assign you a new one. Okay, I'm kind of curious. What is my class? Um, your class is a gray something goose? Okay, uh, a gray goose. A gray goose. Okay. And what, what's mine? I'm curious. Golden goose. I'm a golden goose. Okay. Um, Cass is a fighting goose. Um, Clem and Forge, I mean, Clem and Soki are both silly goose. Silly goose. Yeah, Glaylac. Glaylac. Oh, Greylag. Greylag. Yeah, Greylag. Greylag okay. goose. Yep. Okay. Because like, yeah, um, Greylag geese already have um stripes. Yes. This, Golden this, I, is the best at communicating, and we just needed to give that one to, um... Yeah. I, like, I had, like, a lot of observation, and we were just like, Dude, no, that fits so good for... I'm joking, I almost... I, I almost had water go down the wrong pipe. Oh, 
Oh, this is beautiful. Is oh, the yeah. Cut... yeah, it's um. Let, I'll I'll make that card what it actually is now. Oh my it's god, called... it's a beast card. It's called Got Your Goose. Yeah. Got your goose. I love it. <laughs> this nice. is amazing. This is yeah. beautiful. This is amazing. I love it. Thank you so, so much. Cute. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing my ability is interesting. Whoa. So this is my perk. So just to just understand, so because I have a two in observation, that means I roll two d six. Yep, two d six. Okay, so that okay, all right. Okay, that makes sense. A six means it goes perfectly well. A five means it, uh, and we just take the highest one. A six okay. means it goes perfectly well. A five means it goes okay. Like you get what you want, but it might raise the danger level. A four means um, you get what you want, but you definitely raise the danger level. A three means you fail and raise the danger level. A two and a one both. A uh, one means like something goes terribly wrong and the danger level goes up. The danger mm -hmm. level caps at six, and that's when somebody gets removed from the game. This is a one shot, so it probably won't be removed. But you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so okay. So and then a zero, you roll at a, at a, at disadvantage. Yep. Zero, you roll two, and you take the lower. Yep. Okay, okay. So, for example, anytime there's nimbleness involved, I'm at a disadvantage. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And anytime I roll something that's not chaos. Yeah. Gotta be chaotic. Uh, thank goodness uh, for the zero, one, two, three on mine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, as you, like, arrive in this town, like, the, you got some kids walking around. It's a summer day. Um, it is probably around noon and children are on the street, which probably is, uh, implies that school is out. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, Peanut reminds you all one more time. You must find as many, find as many items as you can. Good luck. This is so disorienting. So, uh, uh, where are my hands? You know, out of all the things that I would, I am more annoyed about, why do I have a gun with only one bullet? At least you have a gun, I have no weapon. I think anytime Soki speaks, he's just honking at you guys. Clementine's just not because he, I, I guess he has a spoon with him and he's just in, in surprise. He's just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. He's, not, he's, he's actually looking around, kind of curious, already trying to look for whatever they're looking for. Well, I suppose it makes sense with the odd uh, descriptions. We're going to have to figure out what they are as whatever mm -hmm. what what even is are these geese <laughs> <laughs> nice i start chasing that kid on a bike <laughs> <laughs> nice i i will run after him and try and, and you know oh, like, 46 it's such a 46 situation for sure i chase after uh. soki <laughs> Oh, look, a six. six. Hey, a six. You got it. Nice. Hey. nice. Oh, no, I, the poor kid. When you catch him, what does it look like? Like, what are you trying to do? Uh, I'm, I'm just moving you guys real quick so I can get Soki, like, right in the middle of the screen, chasing this yeah. poor, poor girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I j I'm just chasing her. I don't I don't know if I have a plan. Uh, maybe uh, I, want, I want her helmet. <laughs> she... She um stops her bike. She skids her bike, Akira style, just like skirt. In my head, this character is related to the character that Forge played. By the way, what? It's the little a little sister. Oh, nice, <laughs> mom. She's like rough mom, I'm busy. She's got a bandaid on her face and her clothes yeah, are yeah, torn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, mom. Oh. Mom, find it. Found a man. Found someone. Nice. And she's just like, oh my god, you're just the cutest little thing. 
it's a um, um if you want oh i got some of this candy <laughs> oh god she's gen alpha careful i have <laughs> she has my attention she's just like yeah okay um i just came from the store and it's just like do you like um she like goes through her bag and she's just like i've got some sour patch creeks and i got so oh i've got like a centipede milky way oh these are my mom's you wouldn't like this and she has like chocolate covered espresso beans <laughs> uh, honk, 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 honk. Honk, 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 honk. oh you chocolate covered espresso beans okay honk, honk, honk. She, can i pet you honk, honk. do you bite honk, honk. Honk. Okay. She's like, she gets down off of her bike and she like, that, she goes to put the kickstand down, but then the bike falls, all falls over to on its side. And she's just like, okay, here you go. And she gives you a handful of um espresso beans. I'm going to give you a plus one on your next roll for like t- getting the center of attention, by the way. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. What's what's the next what's the next play? Um I guess I'm gonna just take a look around at the surroundings and see what I can see. Uh, yeah, give me an observation roll. So it's 3d6? 3d6, yep. <sighs> I, a five, so I think you see um as you're looking around. I'm going to show us this map real quick. This is down the street a little bit. You notice this guy like watching you for as he is mowing the lawn. Like he has like this is his landscaper truck. He is going from yard to yard. He is both watering the lawns and mowing the lawns. He sees you all and he looks at you. It doesn't raise the threat, but you realize that this man will not does not like geese. This landscaper is furious at geese, and he's just like mumbling, just like shitting all over my yards. You got you geese, better stay out of here. Oh, Soki's not on this map. Surprise. So I have the <laughs> feeling that that sprinkler over there might be the rain dancer. I, I was just about to say the same thing. Hawk. <laughs> This game's pretty good. Wait, okay. somebody was Canada Goose. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's right. There, there was a Canada Goose class, but nobody ended up with that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, I would like to... <clears throat> I would also like to observe to see if there are any, like, garden gnomes or anything like that. Oh, yeah, go ahead and make a roll. Okay, so that would be observation two, so two d six. Oh, it did not go well. So we got a three. Um, one of the kids is just like, "Ew, that goose has two heads." Oh, oh gross! And they start picking up rocks. Well, oh, I'm running. <laughs> Little goose, I mean, little girl. This little girl's name is Basket, by the way. And she like, it's like, hey, stop bullying them, and throws the helmet down on the ground and runs to like grab the kid's hand. Take the helmet. Run. Mm-hmm. Out. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll me chaos. Unless you want to try to roll nimble. Are you trying to do it quickly, or are you just... Are you doing it chaotic? I was doing it uh, spur of the moment. That's, that's... <laughs> that feels chaotic. But no no thoughts. Head empty. I want the helmet. Six, that's another though. six, though. So you grab the helmet, but you also, at the same time, with a six, you do have a tough choice here. For I'm just going to offer it to you. You see all the espresso that wouldn't fit in your mouth but then you see this little girl's backpack i'm where she had all the groceries in 
Do you steal the whole backpack? Uh. Uh. Let me look at it. If you don't, I will. <laughs> I think I just want the helmet. That was my yeah, plan. And I wasn't thinking about anything else, so I think Soki just grabs the helmet and runs off. Yeah, uh, I would like to go for the bag. Mm. I, um, roll me nimble. Okay, nimble. Yeah, that feels right. Oh, oh. no! Why? Why me? <laughs> and it's like, Basket turns around, it's like, hey! They are bad geese! And all of them start chasing you with rocks, like whipping them at you. It's like, get that goose! He's got my helmet! My mom's gonna be so mad! Hippolyx and Castor are running, or waddling, I guess. Yeah, I think Clementine would just be going yeah, away. We, yeah, we're gonna, gonna cheese it! We're gonna cheese it! Alright, so I need a group activity. I need all of you to roll your nimble, and we only need one of you to get a four. Okay. Alright, so I'm 2d6, uh, take the lower. What do I do? Oh, don't- yeah, um... <laughs> wow! No, I, got, I got the four with disadvantage, you're welcome. Oh, I got a five! <laughs> uh, it would 2d6, cool. um, and you're gonna take the lower for you, um, Clem. Yeah. But, don't you worry, everybody else took care of it anyway. Oh, that okay. is four fives. That's four fives. Cass, did you run? Or did you want to, like, just... You are all being... Th like, rocks are being thrown at you by school and schoolyard children. As Soki has grabbed a bike helmet and run off with it. In the background, Rupert. Yes! Yes! He received the helm of the Wheeled Knight. What other treasures can they find in the suburbs of Goosedale? Okay, cool. A hundred percent what I was hoping. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's great. Uh, so we got Cast one out. item. <laughs> I haven't heard Cass in a minute. I know he wasn't feeling well earlier. I don't know if he's muted or No, I'm, I'm here. Okay, excellent, excellent. Cass, you have four wings, by the way. I don't know if you can if you can tell that in your art. I think that's where your one of your gun is gun that your gun is hidden under one of them. It's <laughs> got four eyes and four wings. Nice. <laughs> me and Pollux and Cass, me and Pollux and Cass, you got hit with uh, with some radiation. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the sun. <laughs> Fuck the sun. <laughs> Fuck the sun. <laughs> I want to honk at the sun. Honk it! Honk the sun. Honk the sun's pretty good. Damn it. Honk! Honk, honk, honk the sun. sun. We didn't know, but... Now well, we know. We, yeah, honk we had sun. no clue, yeah. <laughs> Nick is on it. Oh, nice. nice. Honk. Okay. So, honk the sun. Soki is clearly in the lead. Like, running with this child's bike helmet. Kids are chasing you, but you guys have completely succeeded in losing them. Mm. Like, because you're nimble. But the danger level is two now, for the record, as okay. the children are looking for you. Oh. Okay. So think a roving pack of kids, like, slowly, like, looking, all holding, like, you know, not rocks, like water balloons, I think. Hmm. Soki mm -hmm. has the bike helmet firmly, like, you don't have, like, so, for some reason, Soki, holding this bike helmet is incredibly easy. There's no real worry of losing it. You can have it on, like, your back like a turtle shell if you want. Yeah, like, that's you what I was going to ask. I was going to say, can I, like, uh, struggle to latch it and then uh, just, like, scoop it up with my neck and just have it on my back right there? Absolutely. Uh thousand percent and you're a little bit more defended like if one of those ro rocks came at you it would bounce off that shell all right what what would, what does the heroism stat contribute to 
anything that w might require like bravery or um, fighting is also heroism. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, I have a question. How risky is it? And, 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 uh, the, uh, this is to, to this to the group uh, in character. Uh, how risky would it be if I, you know, ran through the sprinkler and just craned it through my neck and just oh. ran off? Well, you would need someone to distract the um, man with the doing the yard work there, because if he catches you, that's not going to be good for you. Gas, mm -hmm. Gas is going to look over and just be like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, you're going to distract while I go for sprinkler? Yeah. Okay. I do got, I do got four wings, so, you know. Also, can I use the, in does that count for, like, using the instigator perk, or? Oh, yeah, I have to, well, he hasn't been nothing but nice to you, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll let it rock. That's just oh. fine. Okay. Yeah. What's going on? I, I think this is a heroism. Uh... Oh, it's okay. heroism for me as well. Um, I think it might be nimble nimbleness for you though. Okay, nimble for me. Okay. Cause he's gonna get the attention. Right, what's the attention getting look like? Yeah. You see. Damn it! You see, Cass pretty much unfold all four wings, kind of like an archangel. <laughs> hmm. Be not afraid. <laughs> I'm. I'm going. Can I just say how I failed? You just. Oh, it, it, absolutely. Give me your flavor fail, but also tie in the fact that it is screwed into a hose hookup. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do is, as I as I literally launch myself forward to try and get it, the grass is so wet that I slip and slide, and I trip over the sprinkler. It's just that one scene where his like webbed little foot is like trapped in the sprinkler and it keeps going back and forth and just like keeps dragging his body back and forth. Yes. <laughs> Can I try to assist Forge by doing my best to unravel the sprinkler? Are you scaring okay. this guy, Cass? Is that like when you unravel your things, you, like he is frightened of you? Uh, yes. You just see Cass go, just all four. He's like. He's flapping all four, and you just hear him so honk, honk, honk. Like, what the hell? Demonic. Is that? Demonic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Clem and Soki on the street, shaking their geese head. <laughs> Look, I really wanted that rain dancer. I really wanted the rain dancer. I'm guessing it'll be a nimbleness roll to uh, try and undo the sprinkler. Um, nimble, yeah, nimble if you're trying to do it fast. Observation if you're trying to, like, not worry about. Oh, yeah, I'll, I want to do observation because clearly Cass has this guy scared out of his wits. I'll be fine. Yeah, he's not having a good time. Cass is incredibly scary. He Ooh, sees, nice. He sees nice. the holster under one of those wings. <laughs> 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 Just runs into, like, he's trying to get into this house, but it's not his house. He's like, ma'am, let me in, 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 let me in. <laughs> All right. Fox and Casta, you see, like, the hose hook up to the wall, and, like, you realize it'll probably be easier to turn it off and then disconnect it than it would yeah. be to try to disconnect it while the hose is still on. Okay. Um. Soki and Clem, wh what's up with you two? Uh. Can I give a suggestion to Soki? Suggestion for me? Yes. Good. I just imagine so. I just cast turns his head and it's like, hey, Soki, um, well, I have this guy scared. You mind doing something about his car? Something about his car? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
it, I did he take the lawnmower with different. him? He um, I think he like he ran away with it for a second, but then he jumped on the porch. So the lawnmower is definitely sitting in the yard on. Hmm. And he jumped on the um this lady's porch to try to get away from Cass. It's like Cass's goose mind is having a hard time wrapping his head around the stairs. But he's got this guy. He's got this guy scared. Ah, oh, you got it. <clears throat> so, Soki's content and just watching. Okay, like, did he leave the the lawn the lawnmower like unattended and on? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, and like, what kind is it? Like, is it just okay. like is it just you just like push it and it it moves like i think it's one of the incredibly early like gas lawnmowers okay so yeah it push it and moves but like it is like a powered lawnmower not just like one of those yeah. super old timey like i had yeah. one of those it, it sucked i was terrible like like can you like direct it and everything like yeah you know what? what if it is that way what if it is the like the one where like if you pull the handle the wheels start turning it anyway well well, I've, well, I was just wondering because, like, I just wanted to have just Clementine just kind of hop on it and just ride it around. So yeah, like, oh, I absolutely. I think I think yeah, with a good chaos roll for sure. Yeah, yeah, I just want him to ride it around, just kind of use it as a vantage point, but also just why not? It looks like a nice I, seat, <laughs> right? What could you do? When I got and when a goose has to sit down, it's got to sit down. Yeah, I want, I want to take a good seat. You left it unattended. I'm taking that seat. Uh, so how, how do I roll for that? I don't know how this. Um, uh, forty six. <laughs> okay, forty six. You have full chaos. Okay. And that seems chaotic, if you ask me. Oh, All right, that's that, that six. <laughs> now, see, on my screen, I see a six and three fours, but over here it shows two fours, a two, and a six. I see mm. yeah, I, I two see, fours. I see, Huh. I see two fours, a two and a six. Oh, I don't see the two anywhere on my screen. I don't see the I two. I do see the two on the screen on the side, but hey, we got the yeah, six, yeah. and the six is what we're looking for. All yeah. right, Clem, with a six, you climb on the back of this, um, you climb on this lawnmower as Cass is repeatedly flapping his four wings, and the guy is just like, he's like, no, get away from, get away from my lawnmower, and then Cass, you scare him back again. <laughs> and Clem, the lawnmower just starts going and like it takes you right across the yard and like across the road and you immediately start going into the across the streets yard and you see okay yeah here we go you see a little puppy like you're on a lawnmower I... but you see a little puppy and he's just growling at you but like wagging his tail little growl little wag like, so cute yeah, and Clementine's gonna like flap, flap, honk, honk, like, but like, you know, not in a menacing way, but as like a greeting, like, he, even though he's like got the high vantage point from the thing, um, from the law, from the lawnmower, but he's staying up there for protection just in case this dog wants to jump him. Oh, it definitely is. It's like, yep, 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 as it's like <laughs> honking, wag, I mean, as it's wagging its tail, like barking at you. Yeah, it's trying to see if it's <laughs> aggressive or not. I think it wants to play more than aggressive. I think that is the okay. tone that you get. They're making sure, yeah. He's just he's just trying to eye it and making sure. I think he's gonna hop down then knowing that he just wants to play and just start playing with the dog for a little bit. Hundred okay. Alright, alright. He's gonna interact with this dog. It's like, oh little buddy. Hello. Uh huh. The dog Hello. dog budge and nudges a little ball over towards you. Aw. Like Clementine's gonna take that ball and like eat it. Use his neck as like vantage and just eat it. That's <laughs> just like put it in the spoon and catapult. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna eat it. Absolutely. Wool, uh, wool we'll another forty six. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. A five is good. Uh, so this is gonna cause trouble. Like it, um, but not not right now. So mm -hmm. the dog runs after it, and you see the fact that the dog was tied up, but the mm -hmm. um, 
the lawnmower nudged into the spike that was keeping like the line in the ground and the dog just runs across the street and like starts running across town as we watch the baseball bouncing down the street next to Soki. Ooh. Yeah, and I'm going to um, pick... pick it up and throw it back. You guys, you guys throw it and like you guys throw it back at Clem. Wherever it came from, it's just like ball, throw ball, ball thrown. <laughs> Forty six chaos. Nice. Oh, it's like, uh, do we have the sprinkler? <laughs> yeah, you, you guys have the means of turning it off. Just get one quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. A bit distracting. You, you throw it back that direction, and you just hear. As the window breaks, oh, and you hear a woman's voice, What the hell? And just as the crowd of kids catch up, it's like, There they are! Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna quickly try and unscrew the hose so that we can get the sprinkler and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I wanna pick up the ball. Or you can mm. eat the food because of the feast. That's what that's Clem's what I, doing. That's what, I, that's, what I, that, that's what I mean. Oh, the, the ball. Okay. I, I heard ball. It, 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 right. It's the same thing. It's right there. Oh, oh is it? Okay. <laughs> that's what I mean. Okay, let me put them back there. Absolutely. And then you're going to grab the dog's bone. Of course, it's just like, and Clem VP coming in clutch again. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna just stuff it somewhere. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. What though? So, are you running back on your lawnmower though? Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's gonna like redirect it, make it go elsewhere. Right back on it. It's, it's just right drips out. around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Scare away the kids with the lawnmower. So, oh yeah, oh, you guys figure out how to untangle. Oh, you figure out how to untangle Forge from the thing. There's a dog just like barking <laughs> at Soki, wagging its tail as its baseball went into a woman's house. I don't know what he wants. Just, he wants to play. He's just like, just barking, yeah, like, yapping around. So, um, Pollux and Caster and Forge, mm -hmm. how are we going to get this? Like, we have to turn it off and then unscrew it. How are you guys going to do that with your geese selves? I mean, oh, I've got wow. two heads. I can just, that doesn't seem too hard to, like, have both of them grab it in turn. Yeah, yeah. And then I will hold down, I, I'll, I'll basically lay down on the, on the, on the, on the contraption to keep it from from moving and use my way wait are you trying to kink the water no 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 i'm the sprinkler itself i'm trying no. to sit, uh, yeah keep the, it from moving. we need to turn the water off before we can get the sprinkler oh okay so i'm am i unhooked from the sprinkler now i think so Okay, all right. Uh, okay, you know I always had a very strong jaw, so I can always go and go to the uh, spigot and turn it. Yeah, why don't you guys um both give me an observation like group thing? So forge and um, ooh, okay, four. Is, well, we only need the four for success. Um, forge. And, Okay, five. five. Alright, we'll make it the five. Absolutely. Um. So all it's making is like the situation a little bit harder. Okay. So this woman comes out and she's like, "Damn you, kids! Throwing like baseballs in this neighborhood? What are you thinking? You broke my window!" And they're all just like, no, 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 we didn't break your window. It was the geese. 
It's just like, it was the geese that did it. And she's like, yeah, sure. And you let my dog out? Ugh. Get over here, puppers. And she's just like, ah. Oh. And like petting like puppers on the head. And she sees Soki, the goose. And she's like, how, why would you blame such adorable little geese? I'm going to do a flip. Honk. Oh my god, they're all precious! You little monsters! And like... I've lost I, do the ability a, to I do a playful uh, flaps from my from where I am. Just, you know, just like, just being adorable. Stuck as I'm, 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 as I'm trying to unlock the sprinkler. So oh, yeah, you got it. You, you, you got it unhooked. And like, the guy in the um, porch, the landscaper, is just like... Hey, those kids are right! He's a, he's trying to, like, tell on you guys, but, um, he's having a hard time telling on you. With Cass in his face wet and flapping his wings. All right, the Rainmaker Scott, let's book it! Oh, look, let's cheese it! Hong Kong! And she's... It's like, oh, okay. It's like, oh no. Were these kids telling the truth? Like. All right. So when you guys run down the street, um, mm -hmm. Cass, how's it? Are, are you cheesing it too? You got this dude on the deck, on his, on the porch. Yeah. Um, um, as soon as he sees the others cheese it, he's gone. So that all the kids are getting yelled at by the woman. Why is that so big? Oh my goodness. Giant mail truck. Ah, yeah. uh, is this where we're gonna get our letter of the damned? Oh. oh. Does Cass remember this by any chance? Oh, for sure. Just Cass looking back and forth, just like, hmm. I lived a life here. Huh. You did. Anyway. Yeah, it was a it was a very weird time for uh, for all of us. Uh, if anybody, rem uh, if y'all remember the, uh, the nightmares. Oh yes, Clem mm -hmm. and I also lived uh, lived in this in this place as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, was, it was me, Midnight, and Crown. No, it, it was Clem. Yeah, choosing to leave out uh, his sister's name. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, this brings back, back the memories. Honk honk. Honk hmm. honk. Uh, I want to see and look around to see if we, if I see anything of note, if possible. Yeah, go ahead and roll me an observation check. Please, please, no, nothing, anything above a three, please. Oh, there you go. yes, finally. <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized something, Alan. I'll wait. You see just a very polite looking um mailman step out of the um the mail truck and he just looks look looks over at you geese and he's just like, Oh hi there guys. Who brings you out? Honk. I I I, I try to look adorable. Okay. Can Cass stick up the driver? <laughs> can... I mean, absolutely, you can. <laughs> well, he hasn't done anything to us. I know, but that's where the part comes in. That's fair. I mean, I love this. Yeah. If I act, if I act, then... um, he's coming over. Go ahead and roll heroism. Okay. Gonna be the Where did this him. goose get a gun? <laughs> He's not gonna fire, but he is just gonna like kind of stick him up. Uh... Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, wow. oh wow. that is two sixes and two ones. Oh, that is two sixes and two ones. So that is that is so absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good lord. <laughs> Good lord. That is the greatest roll I have ever done, and I'm happy for That's this so one. Neat. <laughs> someone please, someone please clip that. 
So at least two sixes, good luck. At least two ones, bad luck. Did we just normal out the luck? <laughs> no, you get both. Yeah, you gotta get both. <laughs> yeah. We are even so. And not both. Like, he raises his hands in the sky and he's like, uh, hold, hold on, hold on, don't be, don't you worry. And he like drops his mailbag and inside you see a letter that just says urgent. Like, power to be cut off. Oh, I'm taking that letter. And she's like, okay, all right. And it's like, oh, huh, they found the letter of the damned. Just, it's, that is quite excellent, but oh, what's this? As the mailman grabs his left arm and he's like, oh, oh god, oh god, <laughs> oh. oh, oh, Ethel, and he falls down. <laughs> Did you kill me? He looks at a house that's like right. He looks at this house right over here. And he's like, oh god. And you see that he was like, he had just pulled out of that house. That was his place. And he's like, pushes his hand out. He's like, oh, no. I just realized one thing. Is this the same guy? Is this the same guy who uh, didn't live for only, who only lived for like 30 seconds? In like the in the dream game. Oh, it could have been. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> this is so ironic. This life. is so ironic now. Now you killed him in real life. <laughs> he's crawling towards the door, like with his hand out. I need my pills. Okay. Oh my god! Uh, this uh, is going to be uh, the elixir uh, of life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go look for the pills. <laughs> Are they, like, on him or in the house? Uh, he doesn't have them on him. He's crawling towards the house, so they're probably in the house. Break through the window. <laughs> will be chaos! Wait, I have a question. Will this work with my perk of China Shop? Oh. Going through the window. Yeah! Because I, too, want to go through a window as well. Yeah, you and Clem can both, like, you guys can all just roll a chaos action, and everybody rolls chaos, and all we need is one person to get four. Okay, so 46 for me. Good luck, you two. 46, 46. So do, like, four, right? Hey. Yep, 46. Okay. I got a five, yay! Oh, That's ooh. three oh, ones! Oh, three oh, ones. Oh, oh, ones. Wow! Bad luck regardless. Yeah... Yeah. I got a six I though. <laughs> so, so. That's bad luck. <laughs> I broke a window, so like of course I get bad luck. I'm breaking glass. <laughs> no. We're loud. What if you go through the window and land it into the mirror? <laughs> more glass, please. All right, yeah, more chaos. Let's go. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just jump kick the window and just oops. One of these is, one of these is wrong. One of these maps is wrong, and I'm it's freaking me out. I can't figure out which one it is. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> so you guys come through this window, like shattering your way through, and you hear like a home alarm go off. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this is getting pretty messy. I see a plant. Y'all could have just gotten the keys off of the guy. What are keys? Oh my uh, goodness. I am just Alan, instead, of, instead of jumping in here, can I go to the mailman truck and just start honking the horn? <laughs> yes. A thousand percent you can go to the thing okay. and just start honking the horn. I'm going to start honking the horn and I'm going to deadpan towards the camera and then I'm going to go honk and I'm going to honk the horn. <laughs> uh, Only 46. <laughs> 5d6. Sorry. Uh -huh. You just keep getting the center of attention. Oh. Yeah, two, two oh, oh no, more bad luck! <laughs> the, the threat level goes up to three as we hear the p police sirens in the distance. What? Uh, okay. uh, um, we're gonna look for the, these pills. Y'all, you two find the pills. I'm gonna. I want to grab the pot over there. 
Why is Sunky making the loudest honk noise I've ever heard from a goose outside? Honk. Yeah, comes out and wander into another room. Yeah, I. I... Cause that's clearly the botanical prisoner who's the potted yeah, plant. Yeah, the, the potted plant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I originally had them all labeled as like very basic things, but then I was like, it'd be more fun if they were the riddles. Oh no, I love it. This is oh, yeah, I like that too. Oh no, I love this better. For all the fun. Uh, yeah, I like the flavor texting. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so, okay, so what do I need to do to, do I have to do another observation to try and find pills? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And they, the pills are clearly not in this room. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start searching the house. So. When I have, like, when I have, like, I have, like, zero observation, do I get to roll or no? Oh, five. Yeah, you, oh, you just couldn't. roll two and take the lower. Oh, thank uh, goodness, five. <laughs> Yay. I'll just, I'll leave it, because Ford got it. Yeah. Right, so, um, you do see the botanical prisoner, um, which is a potted plant. Um, it's like, it is not in this room. This room is, like, nice. Um, as you're walking down the hall of this house, you do see a bathroom. Oh. Ah, I'm gonna go for those pills. Going for the pills. Alright, give me a nimble roll. Uh, nimble, okay. Okay, so, okay, so here's my idea. It may be messy, but I want to bounce, I want to try and bounce off of the mirror. Could that count as my perk as well? You're trying to break more glass? I I'm trying to use it to propel myself. Like, kind of, like, bounce off, you know. If it, if it causes more chaos, it causes more chaos. Mm. So, would that count, Alan? Uh, I mean, you can yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, roll me a nimble with one more. So, two die for nimble. Yes. Oh! Another five, yay! So, when you when you go for it, what breaks is the bottle. Oh and, no! <laughs> like all of the pills except for one go down the drain. So I'm going to tuck the one pill into my feathers. Absolutely. Uh, you can you, know, you have the bottle with the one pill. In it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to tuck, tuck yep. it into my feathers, yeah. Oh, by the way, in case you guys want to look at the bottles up more close. Here we don't forget important. <laughs> important, do not forget. Yeah. It's like, and Forge has found the elixir of life. Oh, looks like just, a f just one of them left in there, though. Does anybody hear sirens? Is that a window over there? Can I just jump out of that one and get out of here? Oh, for sure! We're... Oh no, we're all going <laughs> out the window! We're looking okay. go. Let's go! Okay. Super I feel really bad for that mailman! <laughs> I do not! <laughs> Clementine does, but he's- we're, we're doing a thing. This is the chaos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Adventure. Okay. Adventure. Okay, he's got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna leave the chaos. Hong Kong, Kong. I believe so. Did you ever see the, the gif of that, like, the one trash pigeon with a really noodly neck? Yes. <laughs> that that yes. is what I'm picturing Soki is doing to the, like, the male bands, like, the male horns. Kong, 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 Kong. One second, let me just get back to here. All right, we got the botanical prisoner also, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to keep tally on my on my sheet. So you guys are coming out back here. Oh yeah. Slow motion, you know, flying out the windows <laughs> dramatically. There you go. That's mm. what we have left to find. I 
I think the song of the wind is a is a a, uh, a wind chime. Mm. Could be. Maybe the sky feeder is like one of those bird feeders. Bird feeders, yeah, bird feeder. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know what some of these things. Oh, what, what the that? fuck is an alibi supposed to be like? How are we geese gonna get an alibi? I gave you a very strong chance a moment ago. We could have oh, had the mailman the be an alibi. No, the kids with the kids in the ball. <sighs> The lady, the lady could have been. Yeah. 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 Oh. Or it could have been the Wait. dog. Dog, yeah. So the firefighter comes like running out of the um, out of the truck. And it's just like, it's like, looks like we might have a break in. <sighs> it might have been those kids. Like they've been breaking a lot of windows today. And it's just oh my like, God. they think it's the kids. Oh. It's like, oh no. Like we're gonna need an ambulance here, and they like rush to this guy, and they're like, oh, look at that goose. It was like he was trying to get our attention to this location. What I was doing. <laughs> that was my plan. <laughs> yes. I was calling for help. Wait, isn't <laughs> that an alibi? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was about to say, if they didn't notice him, I was gonna go over there and grab their pant leg and try to pull him over to the guy. Uh, the the, the Soki created an alibi. There you go. <laughs> This goose is a hero. I want a medal. I mean, honk. Honk it! <laughs> honk, honk. It's just like, we'll remember this. Like, it's like, they, they, they're getting the guy into the thing. It's just like, oh. Well, it's like, where did he get that helmet, though? Honk, and I run away. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. So you guys come out of the back of that house. And, like, as you come out, you see a delightful little pond and an old man feeding the ducks. Oh my god, the basket must be the banquet cage. Oh, oh. yes, that is the banquet cage! Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course it would be the banquet cage. Mm -hmm. The flock of ducks all turn their heads in unison to look at you all. And it does the anime thing where we go super widescreen and we just see the duck's eyes and we hear shh ding. Honk. And for Forge will do the same thing back. <laughs> the honks versus the quacks. Yeah. Clementine gives a stare. Yeah. <laughs> anime stare. Oh, I was about to yeah. say cast I'm about to say like, uh, cast squints his eyes. Just at them. You know. Almost like standoff style. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I think Soki's just in the back, just wiggling his neck, just like. <laughs> Clementine's holding the spoon, like, 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 as if he's holding something like a weapon, but he's not. He's just holding the spoon in his mouth. Very, very opposing. Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I just realized looking at the art, every time Clem talks, the spoon also gets a mouth. Oh, does it? Wow, it does. <laughs> it's like you're speaking through the spoon. <laughs> I should have I should have given Clem the ability that, to talk to civilians once, but uh, the spoon, that one's on me. That's my fault. <laughs> it's all right. Man, I would have used that right now, too. Okay, okay. You know what? We just... We can do it. We can just do it. Like, the ability is, like, it's a one-time use. Like, you can use it once. Once. All, all right, Clumpy P, what's your plan? I, I want to talk to the old man and ask him for the banquet. <laughs> oh, no. I hope he doesn't get any wrong ideas from this. <laughs> oh, just like, oh, oh, talk, a talking goose. Or is it hello. a talking spoon? Uh, hello. Hello. Yes. And, it's like, would you like some bread? And he, he pulls oh. out, like, me and my wife used to come and feed these ducks every d Sunday. Monday, sorry. Mm. Sounds nice. It was um, delightful. I'm more, I'm more... What, what about some of the flowers? Like, what about those? Like, oh, she grew some fine flowers. I don't have the green thumb for it. Oh, that's... My neighbor lovely, has a though. pretty nice garden. She feeds her birds with... I feed these guys. <laughs> It's just like he pats a little like framed picture of his like now to see his late wife. 
Oh. <sighs> okay. She's like, we had I this bad. She sounds, she sounds oh, lovely. Oh, she was. She sounds lovely. She used to make wicker furniture. She made this basket oh. all by herself. I oh. had it for years. If we had had mm. any children, we would have passed it down. Hmm. So, uh, so while, while they're talking, basket. so while they're talking, uh, I want to go over and lay my head on his shoulder. Yeah, Clementine is like nudging over too. Though he's just like sitting close, wagging his little like. Uh, goose tail and just happily listen to this old man and he's just like this is nice he's like he's like we need this though but he's not gonna say that but he's just like eyeing in just looking at him and just wants to hear more about this old man in his life because he mm -hmm. is invested he is invested uh, he wants to talk to this old man I love all waterfowl like oh look at you all with your fancy colors and she's like I don't judge you like, I know a lot of weird things happen in Sonnery. And he's like, well, she's no, like, if no. you don't mind, can I, can I pet you? Yes. Oh, oh. It's like, oh, you smell like lemons. What did you get into? He just kind of does like a little ruffle like of pride. <laughs> he's like, oh, this is natural. It's natural. He's like, would you like a cupcake? And he pulls uh, a little cupcake out of his, like, thing. He has a shrimp cupcake. Yes. Clementine's interested in this cupcake. <laughs> so the ducks don't seem to like them, but, like, it was my wife's favorite. Aw. Lovely. You perhaps have the recipe. I, I do. I do. It's, the, it's in my house. Oh. Well, we can go get it. Okay. Yes, please. I'm interested in this recipe for these cupcakes. Oh, I sure hope you're not just like me going insane and I'm not developing further dementia and you're actually a talking goose. No, I am Otherwise, actually talking it's to gonna you. Be... It's okay. Oh, okay. All right. This is going to get weird. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to follow oh, along okay. to, you know, to, to, to kind of, you know, keep it. Go for the basket. There you go. That's there you go. Distraction. For the Teamwork. Exactly. You got it. Exactly. Oh, cat. Oh, cast, cast. <laughs> Cass is backing him right up. Oh, it's, it's going. It's going now. It's, it's going down. It's going down. I now. suggest. I ju I We're off no, the I lied. I've changed my mind. Oh. Quack, 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 quack. Honk, 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 honk. Quack. Oh. This definitely quack. feels like a two birds, one goose thing. <laughs> Ducks come at you. <laughs> Don't know if the snapping fingers is carrying. It, 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 it could be their yeah, it could be their legs instead. Gas pulls out the gun. Oh, switch blade. And if not, I'd like to like try to fend them off. Quack. Okay, Squaring up. Okay, I know this is quack. Isn't quack. Good. Oh, Good. 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 Quack, quack. I, I'm just curious. Would my ability work with the basket? If you broke the basket? Oh, Wait, you mean the carry, it, the flying it away? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably. Okay, all right. I'm going to pocket that for now just to see where everything goes before I decide oh, on that. Question, Alan. Is it just one switchblade that they have between all of them? Yeah, it, the one duck pulls out a switchblade. Okay, Cass, sure, are, Cass sure. is aiming directly at that one duck with the switchblade. Oh, wow. The it's duck appa like, suddenly gets like a pompadour. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 and the little pose. He's like, quack, quack. Quack. Oh. And like it tosses the switchblade from one hand to the uh, one wing to the other really fast. Can I do it? Oh my goodness! Can I roll for this and just do it? And if this works, I just get an Indiana Jones scene. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, I no, just... remember the scene. Just gonna shake yeah, it. Yep. Hold on. <gasps> yeah. Bye. Bye. Wow. <laughs> The old man is letting um <laughs> Clem Goose into the um place and she's like, Oh 
Oh, that was startling. Oh, somebody's car must have backfired. <laughs> I need to, I need to sit down. I'm okay, a, yeah, take, take a breather. Take a breather. I'm out of breath. Can uh -huh. you, can you give me some water? Yeah, I'll go get you some water. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm He's just gonna, gonna sit here on my porch. The best as he can to like do that, but also he's probably gonna like try to turn on the sink and use the spoon to like fill up a, a glass, but he's not sure how to actually pick up a glass, so he's just like, how do I do this? How do I get this old man his water? <laughs> okay. Roll me roll me 4D me 46. Oh. <laughs> I I need you to yeah. walk me through how you chaotically get this old man <laughs> glass of water as a goose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna like get into his cover. Just wait, let me see. Wait. Hey! Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. okay, actually, I didn't see the six. Whew. But like, yeah, no, he's gonna get into his covers and he's gonna like flip flap and just kind of pity pad and just like he's like scooping. He he tries to turn on the faucet. He gets the spoon and he's just like just uses the spoon as like you know like leverage for the water and just scoops because he doesn't trust himself to hold the glass over the water because it's gonna be too heavy so he does that but then he's like wait how am i gonna and then he's like oh and he's gonna like get like a little handkerchief thing and just kind of like tie it around his neck and just kind of like uses like other his head as leverage and just kind of like levy it like the glass like with like under his neck and like levy it to the old man and just kind of like just just deliver it to him like either on his lap or like on a table wherever he's sitting and just be like just like honk honk or like i mean sorry actually here's our water i forgot we could talk <laughs> I'm there for a second. <laughs> oh, I almost lost my cool there. He's just like, oh, you're a godsend. What? What's your name, delightful goose? Clementine. Oh, that's the same night name as my poor departed wife. She had a lovely name then. We share a name. Oh, absolutely lovely. And like, he's got like lemon magnets on the fridge. Oh, those are cute. He's like, drinks his I water. Love he's just, I love you lemons. are just a delight. Oh, you're also he's very lovely. Meanwhile, it's a legion of doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He reaches oh, into nice. a, go, he reaches into his like, like a thing like in one of the drawers and pulls out an old recipe book and he's just like, I don't do much of cooking, but these were my wife's wet recipes. Oh. For some reason, I think she'd want you to have them. It seems strange oh. that I'm giving them to a goose. Mm. <laughs> I, I, thank you. Like this is this is, I, I appreciate this. And he's just gonna like look it over though. He, I, I, I hope we can still read it, but he's very interested. He's wagging his little tail. It's like, oh, he's just very excited to see what kind of recipes are in this book. Sidetrack. He's sidetracked right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I care more about this right now. <laughs> this is more important to me. Making this old man feel better is learning about these recipes, preserving them. Papa Duck, wounded. Like on the ground, like quack. No, no. Its eyes like do big axes, and all of the other ducks scatter to the wind. Oh. Oh. Uh, I, I think it's time for us to get Clementine and, and, and book it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. One moment, one more for you. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah, this is our block now. Anyways. Yeah, wait, can, can't you just, like, take the bullet out of him and uh, reuse it? No. Oh, I'll jump, be honest, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean recycling. That is not how bullets work. Uh, okay, so I want to kick the dead body into the water just to kind of hide it. <laughs> wait, 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 before we, before we, uh, before we kick this guy, uh, is his, his switchblade still on him? Oh yeah, yeah. The switchblade is on the ground. Can oh I yeah, 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 yeah. If you want the switchblade. Oh, the gun's gone. <laughs> All right, yeah, Alan. He needs a weapon. Yeah. Was that Pompadour a wig? And can I take it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and of course. Hell yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. 
Just, just spirit Halloween in it. Oh, Jay. Okay, so we're gonna grab the basket. Oh yes, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess since you both have two, since you have two heads, you might be able to carry it better. I probably just he's probably just got like the potted plant on his back with the uh, the letter inside it. I mean, I think cast in the work he could get this one. This is a competition, you know, you know right? Oh right, right. <laughs> Who gets the that, most? Yeah. He should be between each other. You guys are competing against. It's like competing against. It's like golf. You is you it, play in the course. Is his? Oh, oh, I thought is, we were a team. Okay, is I didn't his? Know that. Is his? <laughs> uh, is I, like, his? I should be marking then. Who got what? I've got yeah, I've been doing that. Yeah. I would take the basket, but is his? Is a. Uh, is uh, the old man's like picture of his deceased wife still in there? It's just sitting next to the pond. Oh, okay. Good. And you can take it and put it up on the porch if you wanted to. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I just I, I'll give it to Forge and I'll be like, Boss, can you uh, can you hand this uh, this yeah, lovely I, man I'll, here? I'll put it. I'll take that and the flowers and put that uh, on the porch. Thank you. Honkith. The bankered qua cage has been acquired. Uh, does he, does the old man have any uh, wind chimes on his uh, porch? Uh, all that's on his porch is an old newspaper, or like uh, uh I was today's ask. newspaper. I will, I will take yeah. the newspaper. Yeah. I think it's the Goosedale Oracle. Oracle scroll. Yeah. Oh. Yep. I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm taking the Oracle scroll. I was. I was aiming for that one next, but. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. No, you're good. I, I didn't because I know it was a competition, so I didn't want to say anything. Oh, I didn't. No, like, I didn't know. I thought this was like teamwork. No, no, no. Yeah, it's okay. It's this. Okay, it is teamwork. You guys. Yeah. Are you got all of your points are going together. If you guys okay. succeed, you guys okay. do win. You are competing against the course. Oh, the like, course. Okay, okay. okay. so oh, we are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was good. That was okay. confusing. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm still separating them to see who's got what, but. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so yeah. I'm using a I'm competition you. with you all, just so you know. Cause I'm, I, yeah, I'm making sure. Cause I wasn't <laughs> sure either, honestly. Okay. So we got is there, there, is there anything now. else around here that's of note? Um. Vol observation, Pollux and Caster. I did have some questions. Oh, Ooh, God. oh no! Oh wow! Oh no! Can, can I look to see if there's anything else in the neighborhood? Uh, uh with that, we've got to get the bad thing first. All oh, right, okay. the bad luck. The bad luck, right? Yeah. yeah. And bad technically, also luck. a fail because my highest number was a three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to ask him. I am not killing this old man, in case you're wondering. No, no, but no, I'm not wondering, and I know you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm hoping, but... <laughs> no, I would yes. I, I would gladly kill the mailman, but okay. I'm not gonna yeah, kill no. this old man who's ex- <laughs> who's late wife... Oh no, the ducks are incoming! <laughs> oh, they're, they're coming back! Oh, oh, they're migrating back. Oh, and the kids! The kids. <laughs> oh no! Like, huh. Flying V pattern, these ducks return. <laughs> and like you guys could swear that you hear Flight of the Valkyries playing in the background. Uh, yeah, that's what I was imagining. <laughs> yo, I was just yo, thinking yo. too, yeah. <laughs> I just noticed right now that po that Pollux and Gaston have star eyes. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. I'm pretty sure they get more stars every time I talk. <laughs> Clemen, um, Clemen the old man. His name is Earl. Oh, I love Earl. Oh, goodbye, Earl. It, like, come out of the place and he's just like, well, have a good time, Clem. Enjoy your day in Goosedale. <coughs> yeah, I hope you have a good day too, Mr. Earl. Oh, I should... And he looks up at the geese and at the ducks. He's like, oh, they look angry. Oh, no, what happened? Because Clementine would have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pollux and Castor will just honk at Clem. We gotta go. Okay. It. Honk it. <laughs> oh, bye, Mr. Earl. Have Cass. a good day. Wait, Cass. he flies away. Cass is gonna tip his hat to Earl and then just quickly book it. With the, with the basket in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
waddle, 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 waddle. And he's just like, oh, well, I guess your friend needed it more than I did. <laughs> he looks at the picture. He's like, well, that's polite of you. And he sees the ducks coming in. And he's just like, don't you worry, Clem. And he reaches back and grabs a shotgun. <laughs> oh, oh, my <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's back. And he just, oh, it's like, he loads in two shells and just fires into the sky and takes one of the ducks out. Oh, my. He just, like, slowly walks forward and just, like, fires another one but misses. And th does the thing where he ejects the shells, like, super badass. And then just reaches oh. into his pocket and just oh, loads my. two more. It's like, run, run! Let's just run the duck hunt. Cass is gonna look. <laughs> Cass is gonna look. Cass is gonna stop, look back, and just, just quickly undo the barrel, or not undo, but uh, release the like, mm, release the picnic basket, and just say like, "That's my hero right there," and then quickly pick it up and run off. <laughs> yeah. What the duck? Whoa! Oh, oh. Oh my God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Duck> hunt. <laughs> of course, the dog. Is he gonna laugh at us? Oh, yeah, I, I, I tried to. I was like, I'm not very loud with. I was like, oh. <laughs> I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Oh. It's time to go. You guys appear like you are now on the market street of this town. Okay, what could be in the market? Uh, we have left the Garden Sentinel, the Pink mm -hmm. Yard Guardian of Doom, the Song of the Wind, the Sky Feeder, and the Alibi. Yeah, like what? Yeah. I do. I do feel like we have quite a few alibis, but I don't know. Yeah, we. I think, feel I think you've got collection. Uh, I think you guys have done fine on the alibi front. Okay. Nice, awesome. Alibi acquired. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe there could be the um hmm. Like since it's like a market, maybe some place has like wind chimes. That's all I was like, gonna yeah, I was yeah, wind yeah. chimes are bird feeders. Yeah, like maybe someone something someone's got them hanging outside somewhere, maybe. Or maybe, uh, maybe some, uh, some, yeah, because I do see some plants, so maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, a garden, or yeah, maybe a garden maybe shop. Some gnomes, yeah, some gnomes, yeah, gnomes. I mean, I'm thinking the pink thing is like a flamingo stick thing, yeah, that's probably a flamingo. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a flamingo, yeah, that's a, <laughs> I mean, we, no, wait, those are sequels, but is yeah, there definitely. a coffee shop? <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely, there's a coffee shop. I'm going oh, to right there. <laughs> <laughs> You walk at the towards the, one of the coffee shop. It smells so strongly of coffee, <laughs> and you do. You begin hearing a tinkling above you in the doorway of the coffee shop. There is a wind chime slash bell. You the, you know one of those things that's used for whenever somebody enters. Yep. Yes. Yes. Oh, that could work. That song of the wind. It is wind yeah. chimes. That works. Hey, Soki, want to get that one? No, I want coffee. It's like, welcome to Krieg's Coffee in Market Square. <sighs> More Krieg. Oh, it's gold. What? Ew, I we want it. <laughs> we can't get away from it. Mm. It's like, oh, away. hi. Hi, little guys. Hi. Uh, hi. Honky. Honky. Flip flop. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, you guys want some day old bread? <sighs> honk. 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 It's like, okay, okay. It's like, hold on, let me get you some snacks. Like, oh, you guys are lucky we've been slow today. I I want to try and, like, you know, if, if uh, it, it, while they're distracted to, to nab the bell. Uh, so the bell is going to be in the air. Uh, how are you, how, like, so they, she comes to the door. And starts like giving you guys day old bread, like croissants and stuff. And she's just like, I've got some almond croissant here. Who wants some almond croissant? Okay. Um, so this may sound chaotic, but I want to land on her and reach for the bell. Rude. Rude. Yeah, okay, roll chaotic for sure. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
I got a five. Nice. <laughs> It's just like, hey, 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 no need to blow, no need to rush. And like, you knock the bell down and it lands I, on the ground. I, yeah, and I nuzzle her, I nuzzle her to try, like, try and like, you know, make it like I'm just being playful. And then I hop down and grab the bell and cheese it. That's going to be another roll. Okay. Like, that one's a nimble roll for sure. Okay, nimble, nimble, nimble. That's a one. Okay. Oh. So she's like, oh, we need, oh. like, no, that that bell supports the golden god. You can't, oh, no. Guys, she, the, that goose, like, you guys are sweet. You guys are so sweet. And she keeps petting, like, Soki and Violet's, I mean, Fox and Cassis as geese. And it's like, you, and, oh, my God, and look at this one. Oh, I want to get its face. I want to squeeze just... that one. I want to squeeze that one's face. We got to stop that one, though. It stole the bell. I, I, I basically wiggle my neck and go, honk, honk, honk like you know playfully she's just like what they're gonna get you you guys' threat level has risen to four. <clears throat> oh god we need to go <laughs> we need to either like cool find a place cool off or just rush and find the last items we need yeah quadruple espresso no sugar no cream up for george I've got a quadruple espresso up for George. <coughs> Basically caffeinated death in a paper cup. Uh -oh. On it. George. On it. Sulky's on it. <laughs> George. I guess I'm drinking. I was gonna say Honk in response to George. So okay, are you gonna pretend to be George? <laughs> yes. I got my pompadour on. So I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna go. Roll me ah. d6. Roll me. I uh, yeah. Roll me chaotic plus one for sure. There it is. There is oh, two Oh, bad there. luck. It is bad. Uh, you succeeded, but you got bad luck. So you get that drink, Soki. You are seeing. You see the in between. <laughs> uh oh that's Hell, a goose yeah. you are aware of all the goosely possibilities time is slow around you <clears throat> your party members meaningless they will exist as a blip in time this counter this whole place ephemeral has no meaning to it like the world is con like have you guys ever seen the three body problem have you guys watched uh, that show yet no like, I have not uh, it is a really cool, like, it's it's actually a really alright show. Like, um, it's not as good as all, uh, For All Mankind's early seasons, but it's okay. It's got an interesting presence. It's not as good as, like, Severance. But, like, there's a moment, just Google, um, VR goggles, three-body problem. As soon as they go into it, their vision be goes from, like, two different versions to, like, two eyes to just one concrete vision of the world. And that is what Soki is seeing. It's almost like you were just seeing out of one giant eye... So that, like, there's no depth perception for you anymore. You perceive oh. everything. <laughs> he can, he can feel sound. He can, you can taste sound. No, he can smell colors. Sound. He can smell colors, yeah. He can taste sound, yeah. Hmm. This coffee is wonderful. Honk, honk, motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> the, dang, the threat level is five. Oh is, no! Oh no. Like, I gotta go. This whole place, you're not George! And you snap out of it. <laughs> Onk it! So, you guys run back down the street. Garden oh. gnome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, no. I'm, I'm gonna let someone else take it. <laughs> I think I'm a little busy with the, with the pill, the scroll, and the bell at this point. Uh, you do see on the streets, it's like, hey, are those the geese that, that everybody's been talking about? It's like, hey. Hey, that's run. my little sister's bike helmet. It's okay, run. And then it's just like, 
you hear from behind you. She's like, oh, sorry, I was using your bathroom. I'm George from my espresso. <laughs> what do you mean a goose took it? <laughs> <laughs> George is the mailman's brother because he shares the exact same token. Yeah. Does he have a pompadour under the hat? Oh. He does. Under his hat is a pompadour. Nice. <laughs> it is also a wig, just for the record. He's completely bald. Nice. To get back cool. here with my drink. Uh, no. Uh, bye. I needed to live. Honk. Mm. Mm. This kid's gonna be actually on his stairs. Um. Okay. Clem, this kid on his stairs has a um. Like on him is a baseball bat. He has a baseball glove. Uh, he's oh, wearing oh. a shirt that, is... that says "The Goosedale Ganders." Oh, the jerk from the school, Clem. <clears throat> uh, is it? Yes, it's the bully. I thought it was okay. That's the, that's the one when I was a girl. I poked him in the chest. Yeah. Okay. I did fully mean for this to be the character that Clem played, but I forgot. Yeah, so I what... thought it was Robin. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Robin? I, did, I didn't realize that was Robin. I was, oh, yeah, I was, conf- right. I was like, oh, I, 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 oh, because again, we didn't have um tokens for them back then because we just yeah. had you guys' own. Tokens. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, so like from, from okay. the, they don't, I, just, I remember the boy looked different. I was like, is that Robin? I was gonna say, but hey, wait, would Clem like... recognize him though? I think so, like from looking in the mirror, and Robin looks at you <laughs> and just like. Hold on. Clementine flaps his wings as if he's waving and he's like excited to see this guy. He's like, ah! Honk, honk. He stands up and he's just like, hold on there, George. I got this one. I got this one. And he like, he slips him five dollars. He's like, go get yourself another drink. You know, geese will be geese. Don't be stupid. And George is just like, grumbles. He's just like, shouldn't be friends with geese. Like, not after what- You should be friends with, like, strange things. You know, all that weirdness that happened last year. We're getting back to a normal, regular life. And he's like, yeah, 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 go on. George is like, does the I, the Baka thing to, um, Silky. Silky still has his full espresso. Not yeah, full, I'm, like it's- I'm taking a sip and side-eyeing him. <laughs> 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 but, like, I have to put it on the ground and open the lid, and then, like- dip my beacon and then zip so it's like real awkward and takes a long time but I'm eyeing him the whole time <laughs> wait are you like throwing your head back to, to like to guzzle yep. it the, 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 <laughs> nice. Down? nice Robin's like I don't know who you geese are I feel like we've been close before you got the whole town mad at you one more slip up and one, like they're gonna be coming after you with pitchforks, and don't worry, this town is good at pitchforks. They're ridiculous. Honk. Clementine honk. hangs his head and honks sadly. Honk, honk, honk. Anybody, he flip flaps and he points to the gnome and like frantically like flip flap flip flap. Honk honk. And like, like urgent as if he's nod nod nod. Ah, uh, I mean, it's my mom's. She's in the backyard gardening right now, though. Hmm. I. Yes, I could give you the gnome. You promise oh, not to break God. anything? Nod, nod, nod. Clementine hasn't <clears throat> broken anything. Besides windows. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Clementine hasn't broken anything. And they're like, what, remembering Clementine lemon balling herself himself <laughs> through the front window. And then yeah, besides the windows. Window. <laughs> yeah. The windows in the same house. <laughs> just windows. Same house. <laughs> Being chaotic. Don't worry, Cass has just killed a duck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, girl, so what do I know? Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, Cass killed two people, but we I don't mean, talk duck about duck tastes good, so like, you don't let them ducks go to waste. You can eat them. It tastes good. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> it's just like, okay, okay, here, go ahead, take the... Take the silly thing if it's what you guys are after. Whatever's happening, I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, for just uh, celebration honks. honks. <laughs> yeah. Honk, celebration honks. Honks. Gonna, like, have it nuzzle in his back. It's like, I don't know why, but can you guys, like, bless this bat? I feel like you guys, like, just hands in. Honk on three. 
Hawkon three. Clementine does it. Hawkon three. The Hawkon Hawk and Castor will like each put a wing in because you know. Yeah. So yeah. so so does so does uh so does Forge. Yeah, Clementine does so. Absolutely. And she's like, one, two, three, honk, honk, like, honk, honk. 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 Yeah. honk. All the hand, like all the hands and wings go up. He's gonna win his next baseball game so well. Like he's gonna be amazing. Yay. He's gonna do like. Good for Robin. Yay, Robin. We are helping. Yeah, I ruined it for him. Something less chaotic. <laughs> yeah. Actually wholesome. <laughs> I did not know we had a nothing breaks goose on oh, no. today's game. I oh. was oh. so that, many windows. Uh, of all the games that you could have played a nothing breaks. Oh, yeah. well, that, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sorry yeah. Seth. Me too, yeah, me too. I'm sorry. I didn't, I'm I didn't sorry, realize. Seth. Yeah, no, really. But then, but then again, it was played before we knew we were going to be geese. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It would have been I mean, reliable, but like, and I got chaos. I want to, I want, I, breaking stuff is chaotic, right? Look, <laughs> like, look, breaking I, stuff is totally chaotic. Ford, yeah, Ford, so I'm just Ford like, is oh. feeling very chaotic as a goose, so. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to be like, woo, let's go. But he promised Robin he won't bring anything else, so no more breaking. Well, at least at least Clem won't break anything. Yeah, I know. That's why Clementine is not gonna do it. You all can do what you do. That's exactly. Why you talk the to the old, that's why he talked to the old man, and he knew that you guys were gonna do the thing. So he's like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna have a good time with this old guy. This is nice. I appreciate him." <laughs> Clem, the ambassador of Sonnery. <laughs> so, absolutely, he's like, "Okay." Thanks, everybody. I gotta get to my game. I've got a good feeling about today. It's just like, but be careful. They're all looking for you. Uh -huh. Honk, honk. Uh -huh. Clip, clap. Okay, so we are missing now. Salute with the pink... spoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, so all we have left is the pink yard guardian of doom and the sky feeder. That's yep. all that's left on our list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So flamingo and a bird feeder. Oh, and the fever feeder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what the sky feeder is. The sky feeder is the bird yeah, yeah, feeder. Yeah. The bird feeder, yes. Mm -hmm. It's just two things. Yep. Oh, and there they are. Oh, what around the corner. Thing. This is this is Robin's mom. Well, this might be Robin's grandma. Like, oh, doing a little yeah, gardening think... in her backyard, <laughs> feeding her birds. Like, hear them chirping, singing, and she's got her finger out, and they land on her finger, and she nuzzles them with her nose, little Eskimo kisses. She's like Snow White. Uh, I would, uh, if Forge would like to go up and just kind of nuzzle and distract her. Yeah, yes! Ravens, form! Ravens? That was a bad <laughs> idea! You, you just hear, come on, come on! You've summoned Isaac. Oh no! It's like we won't let the squirrels or the ravens take our or the geese take our food again. And she's just like, I summon, and like, oh no! A mad sky blackens. Oh, oh my god! Jesus! Oh! I want to. As King Charlie approaches. <laughs> King oh. Charlie! Oh no. god! King Charlie! I would like huh? to use my ability of mirror honk and just fend off the fucking raven while the others try to grab at the thing. This feels like both my ability and my two birds, one goose bird. Oh, wow! Nice, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna use my ability to fly off with the bird feeder. I, I wanna say, grab the flamingo. I was gonna cast me mad dash. So yeah, y'all get yeah. things, I'll distract them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, I wanna. For the bird. Oh wait, oh, go ahead, go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. What were you gonna say? No, I changed my mind. So okay, so Forge is gonna hand over the sc the scroll over to uh, to Clem. Mhm. Mm I'll hold on to so, it. So that way he has his uh, both wings, so he can use his uh, his grippers to uh, to uh, grab the the, uh, the the bird feeder and fly off. Absolutely. It does not take any rolls, can you but do roll me a nimble. A nimble, okay. Nice, please be nice to me. No! <laughs> oh, can, I, oh, can I can I use a card to make this a four or is it a no with D sixes? No, you can use a coal iron card for sure. Oh okay, okay, I gotta find it real quick. 
Can I also roll? Uh, I got. Can I roll two d six to get the? Uh, see if I get the uh, cheek flamingo. Yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, go for it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I know Clem is running for it too. Um, Clem, you. Oh. Oof. Oof. Oh. So, I'm gonna also Cat. use a card. Oh my. Oh, I was gonna say, um, we could just let Clem do it as well, and say, like, oh, okay. before you before you use a card, let Clem, um, do the yep. their part of okay. it as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, four. Four. okay, the four. Okay. All right, Clem, do you want to do it nimbly, quickly, and where nobody's gonna get hurt? You just, if you roll a six, you grab the flamingo and you get out, which is gonna take two d six, and you take the lower. Yeah. So a six is gonna be hard. Um... Or do you want to do it chaotically? But how does how do you do this chaotically? Do you grab it and run into her, her house or something? Like, uh, I mean, yeah, like, what is the path? Because I wanted to, like, do the thing where, like, I kind of, like, um, like, I want to, like, whatchamacallit, it, like, under head butt it, kind of, like, wrap my neck around it, kind of, like, grab it weird and just start flapping and just kind of, like, maybe going over the house, kind of, like, taking a chaotic route and just kind of, like, um, distract it, like, kind of, like, uh, what you oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also, just like I don't know, just kind of like, um, like uh, oh, like Dark Souls thoughts roll. I guess, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> just, just, just willy nilly, just moving around, just kind of like trying to avoid things. I don't know, and like not really like I don't know, I don't know. I'm trying to think how like in terms of like chaotic, like he's just he's doing a thing where he's just like kind of like just uh I don't know, like I don't know how to like. Explain no, what I, I mean. I think I think I, I feel ya. I feel ya. Okay, okay, okay. Also, Please thank you. Also <laughs> thank you for that plus one. Yay. Go ahead, give me your 4d6. Okay. Oh, six. Okay. <laughs> okay. Four, 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 two, okay. four. Yeah. And then, do, do I need to roll anything to fend off the raven? Um... Yeah, how do, how do you think uh, this is good? This is chaos. This is chaos for sure. Um, also add like, but you do get to add a die to it. Yeah. Okay. Because so, you might not be outnumbered. Well, you are outnumbered by these two, but you are also massively outsized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then I just imagine with the mirror image them and stuff, they're just like circling around the the raven and the the uh, the old lady and. Every chance they get, the real Pollux and Caster are just nipping at them, which, given the mirror images, the mirror images are also, but only two of them are actually really hurting, given Pollux and Caster's head. Absolutely. 3d6. Wait, is it 3 or 4d6 for you? Uh, I only have one chaos, and I get a bonus die with the two you birds. A six? One yeah, I rolled a you six. You rolled a six, so you killed it anyway. The nice. one time Pollux and Caster have been chaotic this time. The chaos. one time I've been chaos. chaos. The one time. <laughs> Embrace the chaos. So yes. King Charlie crashes into the ground going after one of um Pollux and Caster's thing. Like you see a bird feeder get shattered. Like on that not a bird bath gets shattered. Um like in the moment. Sorry, I'm just like circling them. <laughs> in the moment you see can Clem grab the bird feeder and run and oh, like was oh sorry Forge grabbed the bird feeder and flew away Clem grabs the flamingo and runs um Cass the old old woman pulls out a gardening trowel and one of those like little gardening shovels like the one the hand ones and it's just like let's go bub <clears throat> Like holding the trowel like on Wolverine's claws, and she's just like repeatedly slashing at you to get you out of her garden. Yeah. Cass pulls out the switchblade. It's like, oh, you think this is the first time I, I've had a dance with a goose? Oh. And she like, you see her like throw her hat to the side and wrap a bandana around her head, and then she pulls out a hoe and puts it in her teeth. I'm oh. taking the hat and running. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't need the hat, but I'm taking the hat and running. Yes. Get over. Uh. You have a dance with the devil under the pale moonlight, goose. Oh, oh. Fucking go. 
Okay. I'll roll three d6 for this one to see how it goes. Oh, absolutely. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. How does the fight look? Go with make a six. God. <laughs> it's gas. You go in with the switchblade, and she nimbly <laughs> dodges, and like, she's so like she spins around like like a fucking ballerina and clocks you in the side of the head with the hoe. Yeah. Oh, she's oh, like, oh, oh, oh. She flips the shovel uh, up in one hand, and then she does a thing where she thumbs her nose a couple of times and puts her other hand out that has the little, like, the gardening trowel and does the little, like, come on, come and get it. Like, come to Grandma. Cass, you might need to run. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> kids! We've ah. got to feed the random button. <laughs> We've got the guardian and, and the okay. feeder. Cass is yeah. just Cass is gonna toss the blade back and forth to try to confuse her. It's a little bit like, oh, he's gonna come, he's gonna come, and then he quickly books it. <laughs> Give me a nimble. Okay. Like it! Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh she's she's that crazy. She got she's she's good, she's good at what she does. Run! Sure. <laughs> She's the best she is at what she does, and what she does fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, and you guys, uh, all right. So you get away from that fight. I need all of you to roll me a nimble, though. All right. Okay. Again, all this is is a four, and this is just so you guys can get clear so, of everybody in town chasing you. My uh, nimble is the uh, roll d two, take the lower. Yeah, oh, Alan. Oh, Alan, while they were all doing their fight, I woo! wanted to go inside nice. and secure an escape route, per se. I want to go grab an overcoat or a trench coat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I want to mm -hmm. see if I can't find one so that we have a disguise to get out of town. Absolutely, this is the woman that has four. This is the woman that has trench coats. Exactly. Oh, I love it. Make sure you get hat. Oh no, you got the hair. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Three geese in a trench coat is a thing in the one honk before midnight. It, oh. it is. It is a. It is one of the abilities. I didn't like do it, but like it definitely is. That is hilarious. I will. I will. I, okay. I will be at the bottom since I'm the chunkier one. Okay, all right, roll me. All right, so we know that you guys escaped because you guys got enough of nimble rolls to like escape. So we're back where we entered. No, like the kids are not around us right now, but we hear them coming in the distance. Roll me a chaos roll to, and stack yourselves up to pretend that you are five geese in a trench coat. Okay, I'm at the bottom <laughs> right there. Go ahead and stack on me. Yeah, Alex and Castor will definitely not be the top head because two heads is still very odd looking well, we need we need we need soki to be on top because he has the hair what do you mean he has the hair cast has the hat cast does have the hat cast, cast has, has the best hat. disguise okay no okay Unless you oops i didn't mean to move you forge no it's okay you're fine so <laughs> so yeah everyone just stuck on me <laughs> Definitely need Soki to do it. Definitely need Soki to do the hands. Maybe yeah, Clem yeah. on top of me. Yeah. Yeah, but I have Soki do the hands. Yeah, there you go. Soki the hands. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there's your five geese in a trench <laughs> Well, there's your six <laughs> geese in a trench coat. Yep. All right. Give me a d20. I'm not uh, d20. Sorry. Like, everybody roll me chaos. What was I saying? Oh, okay. So chaos would be a three. There you go. Okay. What is my chaos? Uh, uh, it's a one. I got a five. Nice. Oh. Uh, oh God, Cass. Lots of five. Well, I mean, we have a lot I, of five. I was about so to say, I good. think we got enough. Yeah, all we need is the. Like, yeah, we'll watch Clem, twi watch. Clem twice now has had like a moment where she's rolled three of the same <laughs> number and then a two. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. I want to know how people in character are reacting to the five, six geese in a trench coat. Like, excuse me, sir. Sir? Donk. 
We're looking uh, for... We're looking at for some weird geese. Like, they stole my bicycle helmet, and they broke a window, and I think we <laughs> they killed a guy. I'm gonna point further into town. As I say, so keep <laughs> left. Oh! Okay, we just came from there. Are you, you, you sure? We left again. Okay, okay. Cast, cast, cast nods. Okay. You seem like a trustworthy fella, though. So be careful if you see those geese. They're real mean. They like to steal things and kill mailmen. Did we actually kill the mailman? Yes, we did. I, don't I know. thought the ambulance so he got, got him. I the, know, the ambulance got off. him. The ambulance got him. We're okay with the ambulance got him. Okay. Oh, yeah, they did find him. I was like, he didn't die. He's fine. He just needed his heart medicine. <laughs> or he's feeling a little guilty, but not. <laughs> well, they still stole my ambulance. I mean, they still stole my helmet. And I heard that one of them had a gun. <laughs> and Soki, Soki, shrug. Do shrug. <laughs> yeah, but shrug. I, uh do my best to uh, make Cass take a sip of coffee. No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, yes. oh, no! <laughs> uh, man, just like... Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I would, wait, wait, hold on. I would like to, I would like to raise the roll by one if I could. Oh, say raise the roll by one. Let's do it, okay. Cass. <laughs> Right, yeah, Caster there. experienced the light of what Soki was experiencing at that coffee shop. Yeah, let's see how it is. Raise roll by one. Raise roll by one. There we go. Uh, Cass. Cass, a eight, cup comes four. to your lips, but you don't have lips. You're a goose. A, the cup comes to your bill and just starts spilling it onto your face. <laughs> Some of it gets into your mouth. But it's cold. It's so cold. It's like it tastes like bitter. There's no, there's nothing to it except for just it's just cold coffee. Oh, Cass is enjoying this then. Can 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 some of the can some of the drops just kind of like drizzle down to the rest of us, just landing on I, us below? I think it's. I think it's mostly just covering the coat as the kids are just like, <laughs> hold on, hmm? adults know how to drink coffee. I'm good. She's like, a waddle away. It's like it's this kid. Is our legs. <laughs> yeah. This kid is trying to get close and like lift yeah. up the edge of your yeah, coat. I, I just want. I, I start waddling away with everybody. <laughs> no, no. no. I was gonna say, just have Zoki just slap his hand. Like, oh, I was gonna yeah, offer him the, the I was gonna offer him the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> In a gesture that's just like, well, then you show me how to do it. Oh, I mean, I'm, okay. I've, I've never had it. They don't let me have it. They don't. Like, <laughs> you make this kid so fucking hyper. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, it's so good, guys. Oh my god, you have to try this. Here you go, try this. And then the next one tries it. And, and we're the next slowly one backing it. away. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Give them the Ask coffee run. Ride to bike over. She's like, I want to try some. It's like, I'm only six. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel so bad for these parents, but we need to go. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's the, what's what's the what's... name of... Uh, uh, what's the name on the cup? It's George. Yeah. George, yeah. It's George, George. George. I can't believe George gave them all these kids coffee. Oh, that's another that's alibi. George. That's, that's an another alibi. alibi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, we got a lot of alibis. I'm figured five steps ahead. Nice. All of a sudden, the coat falls on the ground on the street, the streets of Goosedale, as you all return <laughs> to your bodies in the game show hall. And the Ruby's like, Congratulations, our players. A perfect victory. That was fun. What oh. the fuck was oh. that experience? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, my arms are free at least, but my waist is still tied down. Yeah. Uh, oh no, we we don't release you anybody. It's those are very strong rules. 
Can't oh. have you wandering around the studio. I see. I don't lie, this this was a very interesting experience. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, look, look, I can't be mad at this. This was, was this definitely was adventure. It, it was okay. certainly. I'm shocked. I'm admitting this. This that was actually a rather fun experience. Yeah, so yeah, he, yeah. What I tell I'm you, we can one. always trust Rupert. I yeah. don't know about that, but yeah, yeah. For uh, this yeah, one, I'll yeah, say yeah. yeah. Yeah, for this one, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did. <laughs> We're all just gonna honk at random times. <laughs> oh my god. No, you know, this is just a honking, I mean, a very uh, amusing uh, experience. Just like, yeah, you know, and of course, the prizes for everybody's um, participation is behind door number one. And it's just like, it's a pile of pillows. A lifetime uh, supply of goose down pillows. What, are they, goose what down. are they stuffed with by any chance? Feathers. Oh, uh, goose, goose feathers. feathers of the dread goose. Oh, the dread goose. Guaranteed. Oh, yes. I I have a pet dread goose. Quite, he's quite soft. If he'll let Willingly you pet him. Willingly given. Willingly given. The you may all have pillows of the dread goose. The dread goose pillows prevent nightmares for our, um for anyone sleeping on them. You will never have a bad night's sleep on a dread night pillow. No. Oh. oh, that's oh, good. That's so bad. Bad. Scare away the dreams and scare away the nightmares. It's like, can can oh, I communicate in honks with the dread goose? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Nice. I'm going to I'm, I'm, instead of uh, instead of uh, uh, clapping, I'm gonna accidentally flap my arms in excitement. How about I say, Cass? Cass is gonna clap and just be like, ah, I mean. Uh. And of course, our winners will be supplied with um, the many prizes of a 10-pack of cards apiece. Ooh! Alright. I, when I laugh real hard, I do honk. Like, I've heard if you honk. If you completely surprise me with something funny... I will honk. It's just like it is the way of things. If I am not expecting something funny and it's funny, I just I can't stand it. If you find <laughs> the clip of Royce saying no, I'm pretty sure that's where you can catch one of that. I do honk when I Cole is responsible for the most honks I've had in game because uh, that what? like I never see that dude coming. Did you honk? Did you honk whenever uh, Seth said non-denominational wings and wet? I <laughs> think I honked. That was that was mostly I went super exasperated. I went just what the fuck did you say? Because <laughs> he said it so casually and then walked like I, tried to walk away. I actually had a. I actually while listening to that, I had a spit take and then I had to turn right around and not Great. to not get my computer because that was something to listen to. That whole conversation about wings and wets. Like Chris used to, um, and still does. Like, so oh, yeah, the like, that dude. Chris gets with me to laugh, laugh like that all the time. Like in the scheme of things, the most consistent person to make me honk is Nika. Like obviously. Oh yeah. It should not come as any surprise, but um. Like, oh, I get it. I get it why you gave us the clue of goosebumps. So, yeah. Just, I, oh, it just hit me now. It literally just hit me now. What I find hilarious and just like the, ga the game's basically over. You guys are all going to like return home. Um. Sorry, you are gonna have to return home via fast traveling for the record. Oh, wait, 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 I got my own solution for that. If y'all don't mm -hmm, mind, that sounds great. Black bag, smack. Black bag. Black bag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't just let me use my sleep. Bro. Ah. You know, fast travel when you sleep, you gotta be unconscious for your oh. beating, beating. Rupert's like, ha ha ha, 
Honk. <laughs> you all wake up in your bed. Beds. Pollux and Castor wake up next to the Dread Goose. When did you get in here? Hawk, hawk, hawk. A couple oh. minutes ago, we're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. I, I, oh. I guess I, 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 I'll say when I wake up in my bed, I will notice the food that was waiting for me. Oh. You, you look at the toast on that plate, and you want it so hard. Yes, I start to, I start to like nibble on it like a goose. So, hilariously, this background we made when we knew that, like, when we knew there were only going to be four, when we thought there were only going to be four players. And, like, we knew we needed Soki in this. But I love this background so much, and I couldn't, like, get rid of it. So look at Soki's chair. Oh, I know, it's yeah. different. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely, yeah, it's the, oh, how we have an extra special guest. <laughs> Putting up the chair. <laughs> special guest chair. You gotta be able to yeah. move it over. Yeah. That's very cute it's, chair, so. It's so funny, because, like, he's wearing a barrel, but also in just, like, the poor man's chair. Yeah, in the <laughs> poor man's chair. It falls over <laughs> randomly. So, that game was sent to us, like, um, he didn't buy it for us, but, like, I never knew about that game until, um, Zeke sent it to me. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we were like, fuck. And like, this was after we had already started doing the good, like, so like, what was it? Thursday's game had already happened. When we started planning this, I was like, fuck, if I thought we were going to like, do anything like that, like, I would have made all of them a different game. But I, uh, I felt like those games were made special enough. Like, I absolutely loved Karamo, Syria, Midnight, and um, Tarkus fucking walking around, traumatizing people, as oh, and like God. getting just a million magic items, and I fucking love. I, I named that game Sharp Dr uh, Sharply Dressed Clowns. Oh God! <laughs> the one that there was Soki Flynn, um, Renick, and Amon was the body swap episode, which I have been dying to do a body swap episode without knowing exactly how to do it. And then, like, this. And then we had to put it off. You guys know how much I was tortured sitting on all of these assets on Saturday? Yeah. Because the sun decided to kill Vala's internet. Oh. I'm sorry about that. But I, I'm, <laughs> you can't really remember, help the sun. Remember, honk the sun, everyone. Honk, <laughs> honk, the, honk sun. the sun. <laughs> Fucking hysterical, guys. You guys killed like, it. Genuinely, as the internet went out at one in the morning and didn't come back until eleven p.m. Oh. Yeah, I remember you putting that 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 message on. They lied. It's back. <laughs> well, they were right in a way that it was coming back at eleven. It just was the wrong day of eleven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so, yeah. Oh, Nika did it. Nika put in. Oh, no, Soki did it. Oh, I could have given you guys all those character sheets, but yeah, thank you, Soki, for... Yep, I got them. Oh, wait, How what? fucking hilarious... Like, that is just the character sheets that come with the book, by the way. That is the whole thing. Where is it? Um, it's in oh, Workshop. In, in Workshop, I see it, I see it. Um, but yeah, uh, the book is made by shit. Let me check. I love my character. It's I not going to be very long. Them. It's made by Pocket Workshop. Yeah, Pocket Workshop. It's eight pounds because, like, the um, English company, a UK based company, it's amazing. It comes with 20 adventures in the book. It already has four characters, like, locked in. There are, like, you can make your character however you want. There's 20 different abilities and 20 different, um, what are the other things called? perks which is why i was having buddy everybody roll a uh, six cider which is because there's six different kinds of geese and then there's 20 different perks 20 different abilities so that's why it was a six cider in 220s but oh, like that's what that was okay okay i was wondering what that one roll was for 
I think Clem basically rolled the perfect cast, and I, we were looking at it like, no, this is the perfect cast, because, like, Clem doesn't make a lot of sense as a goose with a gun. <laughs> Cass makes a lot of sense as a goose with a gun. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, but I, it's just I, like, I, I love my goose so much. <laughs> we were so happy. Like, I was so funny. Like, the second Nika drew the geese, like, the second we had the idea, we knew it was going to be great. And we knew that, um, that uh, this team would be the perfect one for it. Because, like, Pollux and Castor already has a goose. And, like, the idea of drawing a two headed goose, hilarious, amazing. What could you do? <laughs> And like Clem is a goose, adorable. Just fucking <laughs> put the spoon in his mouth. It's fucking hilarious. Kill it. <laughs> yeah, like, all day. I love that so much. <laughs> I just like gotta remember that spoon Where? exists. He's got yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I do spoon. love the spoon. I I oh, love my I I loved my heterochromia. It was very so great. Mm -hmm. But my yeah, I I have to say my favorite. I will say this one of my favorites is the Pollux and Castor one with the star eyes. Mm -hmm. The Soki Goose. The fact that the animate like the talking is just like going back and forth, and then oh, we yeah. have that as an yeah. emote. Yeah, I love that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not going to be very my... long before that's my most used emote. It was already yeah. my most used <laughs> emote, but now it's Soki version. So it's just like music. Yeah. We're <laughs> like, oh my god, we like because Mika said it on Friday that um we need Soki in this game, but it feels rude. But like, like then we like, we were like, nobody's going to be mad because everybody understands that Soki is the goose that goes back and forth. Nobody's going to be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. like, Oh no, you guys are playing exactly. favorites or anything. Nobody's going to think no. that. Wait, wait, there are little whiskers on, on my, on my goose. Hold up. Hold up. Did I like not notice something? <laughs> like Thank obviously was... Nika's what oh go ahead go ahead Thank you. Please. My, was... my internet almost died again there <laughs> oh, no. oh he does have whiskers oh my god I love it <laughs> even oh. more it's like I know like a lot of you got art coming and like I know Nika's gonna get to it but let's fucking give it up to fucking Nika for yeah. yesterday all this shit it's just like fucking killing it She's mm -hmm. killing it. Yeah. Untitled Lux Stitch Goose Game. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely. Just obviously, this game wouldn't be exist without Nika. But like, god damn it! Look how great those are. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> They're amazing. And Soki's so bad at gambling; it's it kills me. <laughs> Bad or strategic? No, no, it's not. <laughs> and Doceria uh, takes after you. Soki has lost every single thing. Every time he's been in a position to gamble, oh, he has, man. and he's lost. Oh, man. I was so worried in the beginning with all my rolls that if I was going to be able to be helpful at all. I was like, oh, no. You were helpful in your own way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was fun to be fully chaotic for this. This yeah, was great. Fun. No, yeah. That the fact Very that you fun. made both us as geese and the barrel soaky as costume yeah. friends of. Yeah. <laughs> barrel soaky slayed me so fucking hard. I wasn't oh, yeah. ready for barrel soaky. Still love the fact that he just went out in a barrel just for no reason. For no reason. He didn't have to, yeah. Dude, I yeah, want a barrel again. How much he lost? I want a barrel. It's my winnings. Like you it's, it's your bragging rights. Look, I, I earned much. this barrel. I like, I like to believe that Soki stole that barrel. <laughs> or he has a barrel ready. Yeah, kind of needs the barrel costume too, though. Not because oh. Akana, like, it's poor, but because we've seen it kind of like pretend to be a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh. I can't wait to see what our cards are, end up. It, it, what we what we pull. <laughs> I, I will get them to you soon. Um, I'm oh, probably gonna like. I might wait till I like add some of the newer ones that I have in mind right now. Um, oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's totally I'm, fine. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm just hyped. Yep. I'm just really hyped. <laughs> I can't wait to see who all else gets the geese art. And I can't yeah. wait to see who else gets the holidays. Yeah. Wait, are there more holiday cards? Not yeah, yet. we need two more. I, need I know. Two more I have know one and person... they're both gone. I know oh, are they both? Has one, but I don't know who has the other one. Oh, what? Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they went immediately. Mm -hmm. Nice. And both Vala and I are two two key fragments away from our limno keys. Yeah. No, keys aren't real. You're lying. <laughs> don't believe it. I, just, I did I'm gonna take this opportunity. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, you get it. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you. Like, literally, bottom of my heart. I don't want to get too sappy on this one. But, like, this weekend, I thought was going to be fun and funny. Like, the whole Goosedale thing. The whole, like, Gloomcrest, uh, Gloomcrest, Boardwalk, and all that stuff. But you guys made it so special. Like, it honestly felt like almost like a mini October here. And it was great. Like, I think it was amazing. And then, like, yesterday, we learned so much from that long episode. Like, in... I think... I think speakies are gonna be a little bit more that style coming up. Like, a little mm. bit more that, because that was great. We got to see... Or, like, not... Maybe not all speakeasies, but some speakeasies are gonna be more like that. Um, because I did get to learn so much about you guys' characters... And not seeing what they do on adventures, but getting to see what they are doing when they are having fun. That is really cool. And it was like a really cool thing. So yeah. Thank Yesterday you guys was, so much. Yesterday was a Thank you. Work. Truly. Thank you so much. Some exceptional work by basically every like by everyone involved. Oh. Not basically, literally everyone involved. Yeah. Hey, real real quick. Amazing. Like a thing that has come up. Can you tell which segments were made up on the spot? <laughs> not really. No, Just not, at so all. Like... not at all. Not really. It felt no. so cohesive. It did. The cooking, it did. One, I love the that. cooking yeah. one did not exist. I'm sorry. The what? cooking one did not exist when we started playing that game. Oh wow. <laughs> Had my suspicions. <laughs> I like I should have guessed when you know. asked us for ingredients. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I want to play Chopped. I'm just sitting yeah. here. That like, was so like, yeah. for that. I did catch a, a bit of that. Like, that was damn, so fun. Like, man, it's like, we don't have any food related ones. And then like, after I would like, ask for ingredients and stuff, like, Seth came in, have I missed a food related one? And he was like, not yet. And I was like, I'm in the middle of making it. Nice. That was so good. That was so fun. That actually, like, that, I mean, the whole thing, but, like, that made my day, though. That was, like, that was my favorite part. That was so fun. It was so good. It's just, like, the, um, the dungeon that we played, too, was mm -hmm. um, a very Morkborg-inspired dungeon when I started it. Ooh. Like, it was, like, super, like, heavy metal. It was, like, real. Like, it was gonna be gruesome, and I was like, fuck it. I like it better if it's mice wearing costumes. That was cute. I love that too. That it immediately fun. turned into mice wearing costumes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. That was so But well, you guys You guys are fucking great. Like today, yesterday, the team on uh, the team on Friday, the team on Thursday, all of you guys and like it's so fucking noticeable when I go back and watch the clips how much more comfortable you all are getting that how much more more into this game we are all getting mm -hmm. i am so excited about where this game is going so thank you thank you also we thank you so much for the opportunity and everything too like i i love this game so much and i love like everything it's it's just it, it is something i very much always look forward to and it like brightens up my days and my weeks like i really love this game and you guys like it it really means a lot to me Thank you so much for like the sentiment. Like I know nobody likes canceling games, and I know mm -hmm. that like when we miss a game, it's just like, oh no, I had my evening plan to watch this, or oh no, oh, I know, I know, I had to play. But this game and the um, Night Witch game are perfect examples of sometimes you have to put them off because the chemistry is more important than just playing a game. But Soki mm -hmm. is right. Like, Soki is right, that like, when we miss a game, it sucks, so I should have things planned 
for times that we miss games. I'm in the process of making a couple extra fiasco decks so that when we don't, when we can't play a game, we play fiasco. The only because reason fiasco. Oh, that sounds ahead. good. That sounds the only good, reason we yeah. didn't do that for um, for this game on Saturday is because we were like, okay, let's take this time to do extra prep for yeah. the telethon. So like, yeah. Which was worth it. We needed all of it, and probably oh, yeah. more. But like, yeah. don't you always? Uh, I will say this: both, 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 both of you. Uh, every time, I, I can never pinpoint. I, Nika always, whatever I, she surprises me with anything forge related, I am just smile and tears <laughs> with the character art. Uh, and, and Alan, in your stories, oh, mm -hmm. man, it, it literally, it, it's chaos and I love it. And, mm -hmm. and, and I love the, I love the, 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 the fact that I'm starting to feel a little bit more like eased in compared to when I came in mid late season three, that it just like forges a lot more, uh, incorporated in, into his own, uh, being at the table now. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. You guys, you guys always make me smile. <laughs> this stuff make like this game has made me so much more creative, and I think of myself as a creative person. Like, obviously. Yeah, like big I... same. Mm -hmm. We just keep like... putting ourselves in weird positions and making like weird shit, and being like, "All right, let's see how it goes." And it, it's always just a riot. I'm gonna yeah. play a game show where I turn our players into geese. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've we've had a game yeah. where we've turned into mice or armadillos yeah. or whatever. There's been exactly. one with the pig, there's the pony <laughs> game. Oh, I'm I'm with yes. Yes. I was about to say, there's mouse hold. Mouse hold. And now we have, yeah. now, now we have Goose Haven. That? Wasn't so there like a cool game, everybody. <laughs> yeah, so it's a silly game. By the way, everybody else, thank you so much for uh, enduring my chaos as well. <laughs> You're <game>. amazing! <laughs> <laughs> We've also turned everybody into yarn. I need to like make sure yeah, everybody yeah. Yeah. And, pony. and fish and ponies yeah. and mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Fish. The pony game was definitely one of the starting. I think it might have been the start of it all, where yeah, do, we turned remember. everybody into ponies. I do remember mm -hmm. the ponies being the first transformation game. Mm -hmm. That was the first, like, this game, you guys had it easy, because, like, this game is super easy to learn. It's very, um, yeah, yeah. very, um, the bear, honey, um, honey yeah, heist. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, very, okay. like, quick, but, you guys can know, learn how to play just from your character sheets. You don't need, like, anything else. Oh, so it's, like, easy. easy to learn, yeah. Holy easy. shit. Christ. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. What? Ah. God damn. Except, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit, did, wait, wait, did we get make goal? Yeah, I think that was probably exact. I'm assuming based on the number on it that, that was exactly goal. Jesus fucking Christ, Seth. Thank you so yeah. much. Oh, oh Seth, know, like, that's amazing. I'm yelling of you. I know I said it yesterday, but fucking Sept killed it for the whole oh, yeah. damn time. I think I said it at the beginning of the day's game. But thinking back on like how much that dude just kept like coming into it. And like add in little like comments. I loved it. I fucking like the dynamic between Peanut and Sept <laughs> is very funny because it is not the same dynamic that is between Peanut and like Gemini. No, yeah. <laughs> my favorite part was his character was was his outfit design because it gave me oh, so post the prize of right the post of prize is right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was waiting for him to say, come on down. I. I guess and the second I envisioned how I wanted that art to look like, I'm like, no, we gotta, we gotta have the Bob Barker microphone. I need oh, a skinny stick microphone. Like, I, oh, I yeah. like Google it because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know what it's specifically called. It's just the Bob Barker one. The Price is the Right one. Yeah, I it's love called, it so I much. think it's called a stick mic. I think yeah. it's called it has, a stick like, it has mic. a specific name. It just, mm -hmm. I'm oh. very satisfied with how the art came out. I always felt like I didn't do Patagon justice the first like iterations of his art. But I've also mm -hmm. been, like, super intimidated by it because drawing, like, animal characters is really hard for me. But it, like, I, like, for me, myself, I feel like it turned out 
so well and so like what my actual vision was for it i'm like so satisfied with it i hope everyone else is <laughs> like, but, like, i mean i'm yeah, certain with how many crew oh. members are animals this has been a, a good learning I mean, experience I, 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 I will say this with as many animal crew members there are you would i am surprised to hear you say that because you're really good mm -hmm. at them I, yeah. do, it is a struggle like i feel like i have to fight to get those out mm. they always look so good though they look so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, also, oh, pretty. I just, oh. Uh, uh, I'm just letting y'all know I did play the NPC raffle stream I card. I saw that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think <laughs> on it. Like, just when, obviously, like, just whenever you, just whenever you know. I someone else has another one of those. Like I, I saw. I don't know, it was like last week. I saw that that they was out oh, there you, somewhere. I just oh, Cast also got the world the the holiday card too. Yeah. Oh, is, yeah are you the one with the holiday? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So it's oh, Forge, okay. Cast, and Leo. Nice. Right, it was Leo, you said? Yes. Yeah, Forgecast and Leo. Twy is so accurate, the fact that, like, Patagon's V can now fit inside the box. It is, like, a constant oh. irritation oh for me when I'm, like, lining him up in, in like, the, the, like, in the announcements who shows who's playing in the day. Yeah. And, like, the yeah. beat doesn't fit in. I'm, like, just, <clears throat> I have that issue with, um, Midnight's, like, snoot and yes. Renick as yes. well, because they both have, like, mm -hmm. the, the longer faces. And yeah, I'm glad that things. I'm glad that I'm smushed face. I like that. That it's, was one of my things. It's easier for me to do like it. a like a sm not smushed, but you know, like a shorter. Snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But more like box face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like, just, box it's like a little yeah. thing. But like, she's so right. Like, it would just every every game that he played, I was like, this fucking doesn't. I was like, I don't like it when I'm trying to like fit it in. So the new art <laughs> fits the yeah. fucking box. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the you guys, you guys all absolutely killed it. I'm glad you enjoyed your art. <laughs> I am glad you enjoyed the chaos that was making you all geese and having you all go on a scavenger hunt throughout a town. You give me oh. one stat and it's chaos, and I manage to yeah. roll only chaos for the whole game. <laughs> I, I, love that, I, tell you, I love that my biggest number was in chaos, and that's what inspired me to just go let go and be chaotic. <laughs> I'm just glad I gotta chase a man onto the porch. Chaos. I was like, yes, let's go, chaos. I was like, <laughs> Turns out Cass is the scary goose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the scary goose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The I, I mean, imagine, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did shoot a duck, so, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Ducks in the book are geese's natural enemies, turns out. You know, oh, I love that's it. Actually, yeah. I feel like that's true. Oh, that's man, for, like King Char for, for King Charlie to show up, that freaked me out. I wasn't fighting like, King Charlie. Oh, no. I wasn't fighting King Charlie as soon as he shot up. I'm like, no, get away. <laughs> I was like, nope, she's it. <laughs> the old lady, the old lady came out of nowhere, acting like she was Rambo. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> yeah, she did, she did the bandana. Cass was like, oh, I'm not scared of you. Next thing you know, she's roundhouse kick. Too though. Oh, sorry. I was picturing that scene in the Boondocks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Commando Grandma, yes! Yes, Midnight, yes! Yeah. Commando Grandma was the best! She fucking knees Riley in the face. That yeah. is exactly the scene that I was picturing. For, like, but, like, if Cass was a, like, if Riley was Cass's goose, <laughs> getting <laughs> fucked up by this old lady, that, like, was clearly Zoro from One Piece. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, like, I feel like that's fitting. Like, that's Robin's yeah, grandma. Yeah, it is fitting. Like, very, very, very badass grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, let's just say, you know, that whole area experienced a six goose problem. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I do want to shout out uh, Earl. You are Cass's true hero now. Yeah, Earl. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I banged my chest at the peace book. I banged my yeah, chest at the peace sign, Earl. <laughs> Oh, I love Earl. I wanna... hope, he, hope, hope he lives happy life. Happy life. Has good, has good Earl, Earl has become immortal. <laughs> oh yay! Yay! Yes, nice. Good for him. Earl. Hope he has a happy life, eternally. All right, everybody. Thank you again, and thank you, Sept, for the gold Jesus bar so much. Thank, thank you thank all you so for much. like mm -hmm. going towards the gold bar. You guys all Everyone fucking killed hard. it. It's Y'all are amazing. amazing. We're um, obviously super fried, but um, so we're just we're gonna like be dead um, 
for the week. <laughs> but we will get um, all of the prizes and stuff that everybody got from the weekend that haven't already been resolved. We'll get those out. We got some other little like perks and things that were that we had in mind for unlocking as we got further through the goal. So um, we'll like get that stuff out to you guys too this week. But we're probably just going to be like face down for like a, a little bit. Oh, mm-hmm. understandable. Um, yeah. Yeah. Next understandable. Game is yeah. Friday. Um, it is at Bama time. That is Bama, Akana, Krieg, and Leo. That should be, uh, that should be a good fun time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a good time. Having <laughs> 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 a good time. This was an amazing Qu- thing. <laughs> Qu- a yeah. question. Qu- one more question. Uh, Alan, uh, is he immortal till, like, age catches up with him? Or is he, like, fully immortal now? Early. Honestly, I did not put enough thought into that before I said those words out loud. Early, early, early okay. now the goose father. Well, because it's, like, well, it's like Earl it's now has like, it, it, now it gets even more sadder. Now. Oh. Because his, his wife's dead, it's like. I mean, he can, like, if he if Earl is forced to live forever, maybe he'll have to find a certain doctor to try to find a ghost, <laughs> to put the ghost into a body. Oh my god. god. <laughs> this is not a whole other I will help Earl with this. I would like to, See? I would like to nominate Earl for Hunk Father. Oh. <laughs> Hunk Father, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sonnery so, 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 so. <laughs> so, is right there. Like, I, so, you, yeah, in, in Sonnery, he can, in Sonnery. I've, ex- yep. I've explained that when you're in Sonnery, like, the location on the map does not actually matter. Like, literally, sometimes you walk outside of that suburbs, and the boardwalk is right there. And sometimes you walk right out of it, evil is like the neighboring town, even mm-hmm. though it's on the other side of the um, continent. Oh, Sonnery is yeah. weird, people. I appreciate Sonnery. Yeah, I remember like that it. you said that, that it changes with the ticking of the clock. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Very neat. I think we're gonna hack off and go tie. Um, yeah. Y'all oh, are definitely. amazing. Yeah. It is an absolute yeah. pleasure to make games with y'all. Bye yeah. forever. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Born as a smith, here I forged my new home. Protecting the crews amongst destiny's throws Which is the right path that I value more My tinkerer's tools or my magical form In the danger, don't know what comes next Weaving my way with each step On the path we wander through shadow and light Marching through valleys deep and wide Carving the fate Or chase the moonlight Loyalty binds me to all I hold dear Eager to help, I'll embrace every fear In the danger, don't know what comes next Weaving my way with each step On the path, we wander through shadow and light Marching through valleys deep and wide Carving our fates and finding the hope For the past to break free from my curse Brave in the face of all my hidden strife Forward I journey to seek a new life In the danger, don't know what comes next Weaving my way with each step On the path we wander through shadow and light Marching through the Torn by desire to be something more 
fast and true In the danger, don't know what comes next Weaving my way with each step On the path we wander through shadows 